everybody. Welcome to the show. <laughs> oh my gosh, you guys are too kind. KB with you. How's it going? Karen Bryant here. Welcome to Festivities Episode 100. Tonight, Hanato and I will look back and reminisce about some of our favorite things. Um, and as I'm saying that, I just remembered something I forgot to do. So maybe I'm going to have to do that while I'm talking to you guys. But anyway, uh, that's the plan today. We are going to look back and um, we have some clips of <clears throat> some things from back in the day. Um, we have clips from um, uh, like some of the early ones because I don't know if a lot of you guys know that initially the show started out on Instagram and we were doing Instagram Live and then after Instagram Live, I would take it over and put it <clears throat> on YouTube. I would like, you know, whatever, change it to whatever, different format and blah, 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 blah. Um, and anyway, so that is something that we used to do. So that's why when you look at some of these other clips, uh, it's the different kind of format and it's got the Instagram thing and, you know, uh, people are different sizes and that kind of stuff. But at any rate, um, we have just some fun, funny stuff. I would, I hope it's funny that we'll go back and look at, but obviously to um, always take questions and stuff from you guys as well. And, uh, you know, just kind of catch up with you and <clears throat> just see what's what. That's what we do here. This show, I don't know, you know, I mean, if <clears throat> we always do have to remember, it could be your very first time here. And if so, it is um, kind of an interesting time to start here at the 100th episode, but you're here now. So thank you. It's good to see you. Um, I'm just going to double check this thing because I think I got this right and then um, I am good to go because I just want to um, let me see okay yeah I think this will work um, I I think this will work so that I can upload that to to, uh, to the show so there you go. So uh, yeah so um, we will look back and uh, and you know and look ahead and see what's going on. So what are we, what are we drinking to celebrate, Dean? Well, that's a good question. I have a bottle of champagne. It's nothing fancy. <clears throat> it's just some barefoot pink Moscato. But I'm waiting. I'll wait until Hanato gets here. I thought about um, starting it early, and, and then I thought, well, I'll, I'll see. I want. I don't know what he's doing. I don't know if he will have already started. I kind of feel like he probably will have. So maybe I should have. I don't know. Suavecito, thank you. Hello, KB. Congratulations. Come on. Come on. Uh, to 100 episodes and here's to 100 more. Thank you so much for that. Uh, what do you have? Yeah, so, Dean, you're having a Knob Creek 12 year bourbon. Awesome, but small sips. Okay. Yeah, bourbon. I, you know. I like bullet, right? That's bourbon, right? Bullet bourbon. I do like that. Uh, yeah, Hasperger saying that does sound awesome as well. Um, yeah, bourbon. I think, do you, did you, do you put a little water in it? Isn't that one of those things where sometimes you put a little water in it as well? Um, um, but yeah, I think that uh, is great for you to enjoy some bourbon while you're doing that with us. Um, I think that's a nice idea. I love that, actually. Um, I love that. I love that people are enjoying a nice beverage. So we can talk a little bit about this weekend because I, I uh, have an interview with Grant Dawson on my YouTube here. If you're watching this on YouTube, um, you know, hopefully you can hit that subscribe button. I do a lot of interviews and stuff. So I have an interview with Grant Dawson. And he talks all about the matchup with Bobby Green and, you know, um, what he believes he can do in this fight and what he believes the fight can mean for him. And he also then is very vocal about why he believes he can beat Makhachev. And, um, yeah, actually, I think I can share that with you because he has a lot to say about it. Um, and he, um, he, uh, he's, he's very confident. He's very, very confident. Uh, so let's just hear what he has to say about what happens if he fights Islam Makhachev. You mean, yeah, when we have somebody like Islam Makhachev at the top of the division, I have to believe that you look at him and be like, bring it on. Yeah, absolutely. I, yeah. I was just talking about Islam, uh, a couple of days ago too. And we were, we were saying like, somebody asked me, what do you think that you bring against Islam that everybody else doesn't? And that is once I get the takedown, I've banked around. 
when I take people down, they very, very, very rarely get away from me. And we've seen in the past, guys have been able to take Islam, Islam down. And when they get him down, keeping him down is the hard part. But yeah. these guys that have got him down don't have a body triangle like I do, don't have the submission threat that I do, don't have the control on top that I do. In my last fight, in a 15 minute fight, I had 12 minutes and 45 seconds mm -hmm. of control time. So if I get Islam down, it's instantly one to zero Grant Dawson. Nice, nice. No, I mean, so what do you think about that? So instantly, if I get you down, it's instantly one to zero Grant Dawson. Earlier today, because I'm working this fight this weekend, I was watching Grant's fight versus Isma Gulov. I had worked it that night too. And yeah, it's very commanding with the control time. It's ridiculous. The it, it's it's immediate, and it's all encompassing. It's kind of wild. Um, um, yeah, it's kind of wild. Um, oh, somebody says oh, that was a hundred proof D and D. Uh, Library Shark is saying a hundred proof for a hundred episodes, and then um, Dean says cheers. To KB and Uncle Hanat, so just realized that library shortcake that it is 100 proof just pulled it out because it's my special occasion for I can't get this one off and that's, but that's cool that's kismet that's kind of a cool that's kind of a cool kismet, um, but yeah so I do think um, it's interesting for for uh, Grant to have this main event against Bobby and yeah so he does believe that um, he matches up well against Islam Lachatev. And if he's given the choice or a chance that he will um, be able to, um, um, he will be able to um, neutralize him because um, of his ability on the ground. So, um, um, yeah, um, yeah, yeah. So there's that. I'm just, this is um, Hanato. Um and um, let's see, uh, yeah, he'll be here. <clears throat> I guess maybe he's trying to figure out this place. So uh, yeah, yeah. So he's figuring out. <clears throat> he's figuring out this place. Oh my goodness, Hasberger saying, "I wish I could give a hundred pounds for the hundredth or hundred uh, um, euros for the hundredth episode, but I only have a chuppence. Don't you even worry about it. That's just very sweet of you to uh, to even think about it. And um, also, you did donate a pound, so thank you. I appreciate it, and I really do appreciate it. Um, no, 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 you're good. We appreciate it. Thank you so much. It's very sweet. <clears throat> Excuse me, I'm getting choked up. I'm getting choked up. Um, but yeah, no, I'm uh, I'm curious too what else you guys are thinking about that fight. If you guys, um, <laughs> library shortcake, um, uh, I say if if they drink enough this wine, they might give a hundred dollars. In vino veritas, and in vino, open wallets. In vino, in vino isn't 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 veritas. I don't know. I was gonna say veritas was one of those things that like. A credit check or something like that but it's not it's different um that's right marco's party like i said if he doesn't hurry up i'm gonna pop this thing soon oh speaking of which uh and i i'm not gonna get into the whole thing and maybe even just by bringing it up now jinxing it i should and anyway but i landed the perfect that's what he said joke the other day and it was so funny to me and i still was laughing about it and my point is just that um it's funny when you um, like if you're ever able to just like crack up a total stranger. And so I, I cracked up a total stranger. Um, but it's kind of a funny, it's kind of a funny moment. I don't know if people, if you guys are type, maybe it's cause I'm, I guess I'm extroverted or whatever, according to the kid. <clears throat> but I'm the type of person that, you know, if I'm in line waiting for something and you seem friendly and you don't seem like a psycho, if, if there's a reason to strike up a conversation, I would, I will. I'm chatty. I guess it's probably not any great surprise here. So I'm wondering if other people are like that. But I like that feeling of being able to completely crack up a stranger. Like to me, that was, I was like, oh my God, I won for the day. Like I win. I'm, I win. Yeah. 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 Um, yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. I, I, anyway, that's how I feel about it.
I'm not sure how anybody else feels about it. Um, I'm trying to think if there was anything that I saw this weekend or anything. Um, if I, uh, at any rate, oh, well, I should just wrap that up, not that other thought. Anyway, um, about uh, Grant, he also talks about training with Gamrot. When I spoke to him, it was the day after Gamrot had beaten Fazeev. And so we were high on that, and we were talking about that. And he was talking about training together with, um, with Gamrot down at ATT. And so, um, but anyway, nice interview with Grant, and, you know, he is definitely on a tear. He's currently number 10, and so he's going up, and Bobby is, uh, you know, just the kind of guy that can spoil the party. So I was just re-watching his fight with Tony as well. That was one where he got that late, late, um, that late round, late third round submission win over Tony, and at first you looked like Tony was going to be able to fight it off, and then he wasn't able to fight it off. Um, but, uh, Bobby is a former guest of our show here. We love us some Bobby Green. And so you should go back and see, I would have to look on which episode that is. Um, but yeah, you should go back and check out the episode with Bobby Green because as you know, or and maybe if you don't, um, the stuff on our show is not just, um, is not just about the fight that they have going on like at that time. So um, Bobby is episode 11. So he was here, as I like to call them, an early adopter. Um, but it doesn't mean you um, just because like, oh, you know, it was a while ago that they were on. Like, it doesn't mean you shouldn't check it out because everybody talks about all kinds of stuff that's much more than just their fighting. And so it's not just about the fight that they have going on or the fight that they just had. So you don't have to feel like, oh, it's old news. That being said, if they are coming off the win or just about to fight somebody, then obviously you, if you want to go back in time and go, I wonder what they were thinking before they had that big and incredible fight with so-and-so. Um, you can just go back and watch. It's just that simple, as they say. It's just that simple. I had a roommate, <laughs> my roommate Paul. Oh, we used to we used to say that all the time. We're like, it's just that simple. You know, there was the the, the I think it was was it Ron Popeil? Maybe him. I will know. Um, for the um, the he sold all kinds of things like the in the egg scrambler, and he sold all kinds of these like junky, you know household items that were allegedly going to make your life better and they were always crap I mean I think they look like crap I mean you, you could find them you know then sometimes you'd go to the mall and depending on the mall you'd see the as seen on tv store which we're all going in how are you not going into the as seen on tv store because it's all the infomercial junk all at once I definitely like going in that store but anyway Ron Popeil I believe it was him and he would say something and so like, you know, with like, for example, the in the egg scramble, like the whole point was so much not easier. It's so much easier to just crack the egg and, and scramble it up and mix it up in a bowl. But his thing was you, you I guess you poked, I, I really should Google this. You poked the hole in the egg and then I guess you kind of whipped it inside the egg, which just seems quite fragile to me. Uh, and then you just, when you cracked the egg, it was already whipped. I don't know. It seems like a lot harder to me. But anyway, the In the Egg Scrambler was uh, was one thing that I remember from Rob O'Beal, and I believe his commercials would say, yada, 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 da, 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 It's just that simple. Help me out in the comments if anybody knows what I'm talking about. Um, you know Library Shortcake, um, Light Skinned Heart, and Max Payne Griff. Both have the invitation. Both of them have been, sorry, my sweater has, my, my necklace has been the sweater. <clears throat> Both of them have been sent the invitation and the link. Light Skinned Heart was saying that he thinks he might be able to come by. He just has to see how his night is going, you know, you know, because he's got four children. Um, and so he often has his hands full. Um, and so we shall see. But hi, Joe, uh, Joey's, uh, Joey's Joey. Hi, Joe's Joey, how are you? Um, yeah, so hopefully um, they are able to come. Um, yeah, you know, I thought a second ago, Christian, I thought a second ago I saw Hanat, but I guess it was a mirage. I guess the splice, it was, um, he's becoming a diva. Like, I know, I know. It's episode 100. I guess he's all of a sudden too good for us. We'll see what happens.
from here. Oh, okay. So anyway, like I said, <clears throat> Anthony might be able to come by if he's not busy with his kids because he actually takes care of his kids. Unlike this fella. But he's been my co-host for 99 prior episodes, so we may as well do it one more t time. If he's here, he's in, he's out. Just, I know I'm setting up a joke right there. But every time I go to click the link, it disappears because he's here and then he's not here. Um, but thank you, Joe's Joey, saying congratulations on 100 episodes. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, let me try. Let me try. Let me try. Let me try. Ladies and gentlemen, and I'll tell the round show. Hi. Oh, can I? Wait, hold on. You keep. Can you hear me? I can hear you, but your splice doesn't. Is it a bad one again? No, it's a. Uh... Oh, I don't know. You tell me. Now it was well... just. It was the um, the microphone. I had somehow I didn't connect it. Well. Okay, because you, I could see you, and then I couldn't see you, then I could see you, then I could. Yeah, see yeah. You, so I had to, I had to went out and 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 let it allow the microphone. Got it. Gotcha. Okay, so now that you're here, I've been waiting to open this bottle of champagne. Do you have a drink or anything to sell? Yeah, I got a drinky pool right here. Okay, so I will open this. I was waiting for you, and like I said to people, I was like, well, I'll wait. At first, I thought I should just have it, and then I thought, well, no, let me wait, uh, and we could open it here on the air well, together. If I don't look so it. excited, got I um oh i meant to tell people too how are you hi i'm great look at look look what's going on here nice nice i meant to tell everybody too i was babbling on about some other stuff i also interviewed uriah what favor today no. um, oh god are you yeah uh, how I is interviewed uriah today because he's because because remember if you guys remember when he was the ultimate fighter coach he coached ton lee and ton lee is oh yeah fighting, fight, fighting for the title at um at um one fighting championship um on friday and so he is gonna be uh so you know so i was asking you about him and also you know the fact that he also still worked with sage and so sage might be fighting again soon because he said sage is back in the gym so we were talking about that so yeah i meant to to mention that earlier um i did that just this afternoon uh caught up with uriah who's always just lovely to catch up with i like that guy yeah I I'm, like him. I, he's always uh fun he got a good sense of humor he's a I good also... sense of humor and he's just a solid guy and yeah. um henato here's to 100 episodes congratulations to us oh okay God, God. congratulations good job Woo. wow whoa 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 we did it Kai. we did we it, did it. We uh -oh. we never thought that the the that this would make it to be the same age as as Karen Bryant. They wow. finally, it finally have, they finally made that sweet one hundred. God, you finally did. I know. I should. I forgot one thing. I don't have is like a cooler for this. It's gonna get all warm. Oh, I might have a cozy in the freezer. That mean you gotta drink it up. Drink up. I know. I do. I do. So I the number energy. one question when I cheers. when I cheers. Saúde. This is not a proper glass, but cheer oh, cheers. Saúde. Wait, who are you cheersing over there? A fucking uh, a man? I don't want men to have my kids. No, there's no men here. Who's over there? Nobody's here. That's a horror. No, kiddo's not here. Huh. She didn't want to be here for the 100? No, it wasn't my week with her. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> Thanks. Uh, ironically. Ironically, it's not my week with my kids either. With any of your children either. Nice. Yeah. Isn't that something? Mm -hmm. I'm going for the hacker. It's, I don't know how many weeks in a row. Actually, my friend is over here, though. Oh. Tell her I said hi. Yeah, okay. I, I, I can. I heard that. Yeah. Oh, so so it, let me it, see if there's, if there's, she looks if there's like. people here. Um, fa yeah, people saying that you're that you're fashionably late. Fat, la well, late. you know how it is. Mm -hmm. uh, it's not just the fashion. It's the hair care. It's the skin care. Mm -hmm. Is the mental Oops. preparation? All bangers saying cheers, Dean saying cheers. All bangers. Cheers. One more. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, I appreciate uh, it. It's interesting <clears throat> that we've actually mm. done this. I, I, well, I don't want to keep. I feel like everything I'm gonna say is sounds gonna be like a sound bite, but it's like I can't believe we've done it a hundred times. Oh my god! I don't know if you'd still be standing if we we, we did a hundred times. God, I You'd be yeah, in a, a wheelchair. Said, it was spread out over a couple of years. Your your legs were spread out over a couple of years, but you know what? Um, if 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 we did it a hundred, Jaime, 
you would be in one of those wheelchairs where you have to blow into the straw or whatever. Or no, you would be d talking into the computer or whatever. It'd be all, I feel like <laughs> UFC 325 is looking for... Because I'd just be gutted. I'd just be wrecked. It'd I'd be, be just... Your body would... <laughs> It, it, it'd be a shamble. Um, it would be in a shamble. A shamble. Yeah, a shamble. A shamble. That's um, a good word. Hey, do you have a favorite word? It's either carajo or guess what the other one? I know the fans know. I don't know. Epoja. Oh, I guess um, so. I, I guess... You do say that all the time. Well, I said those. Uh, imagine me without those words. It would be like the Smurfs without the word Smurf. You know how they say everything is Smurfy, that or I'm going to Smurf me up some Smurf berries? No, you're right. Papa Smurf, late girl. What's you're her right. name? No, Smurfatch. Is... Um, I needed to clean this this cheat chair anyway. Oh, well. mm. Um. Yeah, no, Um. I like the word shenanigans. It's one literally one of my favorite Sh words. Shahanigan is a good one. Um. What the fuck else? Because okay, you can't say it, and like as soon as you say it, you're like, "Oh, let's Shen let's let's get into some." Like you, it's fun. It's fun to say it. Like you feel like shenanigan is good. Balderdash is another one. Also, horse feathers. Horse. Horse, horse feathers. Um, which what does that even mean? It means like there's no such thing as horse feathers. So that's bullshit. It's like that's preposterous. That's Got horse it. feathers. Got it. That horse feathers. Got it. Got it. Um, what's one of my favorite word? Hey, I know look at that this. I got, Thank yeah. you so much, Library Shortcake. What kind are you, Love Library you guys Shortcake? guys and all the regulars, XOXOXO, with a $100 donation. Thank you so much. We're going to we're gonna be able to, um, Hanach, we can have a, a celebratory dinner. We can do that. We can have a... I'm excited we, for that. We, we can have a celebratory... We've been planning, you know, we were going to have a strategy dinner, then we never did that. Then we were going to have, like, a Christmas dinner, then we never did that. And then we are going to have, like, a... Like a I don't know, dinner. Now we can have a hundredth dinner. Let why don't you do a dinner where you send you keep me blowing me off though? You always blow me off. Why why don't you don't send me let's do a dinner where you just send me the proceeds and I and I treat myself. Because imagine the kind of dinner I could have just by myself with the why kind of money. Be, it would I pain can't. you that much to be in, out in a restaurant with me? <laughs> no. No, not at all. I've been in a restaurant with you. Once. True. But you was get so handsy under the chair. You tried to play footsie with me. You, you tried to play tootsies with me, Karaya. Wish. Hey, speaking of which, yeah. somebody in the in the uh, questions or something or the comments on the last last week's show or uh... sorry, I do like champagne. No, I enjoy. Um, oh, shit. Um. Somebody had mentioned or asked the question like, "How did you guys meet?" <laughs> and I wonder if they thought we were a couple or something. I'm sure, listen, listen, for the record, me and Karen Bryant have never made love before. We only fuck each other. No, I'm kidding. No, 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 no. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. We've never done anything. Not, not even a heavy petting, not even holding hands, not even, not even her biting on my ear when she's trying, to, when we went to the movies together and she's like, get too close and breathy in my ear and nibble on my earlobes or whatever. Nothing like that. Um, I think one time she tried to take my gum. She took my gum out of my mouth and put it into her mouth and chewed that one and then looked like stared me down in the eyes or something like that. But aside from that, nothing have went on. Um, but it, it's like, I can't, sometimes I can't convince even friends of mine that that's the case. They're like, really, okay, well, hey, whatever you say, whatever you say, playboy, you know, because they know, they know this. The odds is very low. You know what I mean? That I could resist you? A, that. But B, on the other side, too. Not like, even hard th at all. They wouldn't think that I would want to turn, like, um, they wouldn't think that I wouldn't try to, at least try to fuck you. You know what I mean? Right, that we could actually just be friends. They feel like, why yeah. aren't you trying like, to get that? At least they would expect to hear a story that I tried to fuck you and you thought better of it. <laughs> But the fact that I said that it's platonic, like nothing have even like not even, even something like close. that yeah. have even come up. They like, you know, they like, yeah, you're okay. 
You know, like when your father, ch when you, when your friend, ch when you're a kid, he tell you his father's in the CIA or he's a right. ninja. You go, yeah, well, of course. <laughs> you, you, you know what I mean? And you just don't want to hurt your friend's feelings. Like, Let him have that one. Or he have a girlfriend in Canada. He got laid in Canada. Yeah, okay. Whatever. Sure you did, buddy. You just go, sure you know did. what? That's fine. So I understand why people don't believe that one. But well, I mean, you know, that's so fine. I understand why they would think listen, that you would be. Let me come on, like come on. Okay, listen. I've did. I've did. Let's say a I lot understand. worse for her. Okay, so you could do worse. You could. I. I. I could do worse for sure. You have a nice cheeks, uh, cakes. You have a nice uh, hourglass figure. You have a nice uh, that skin, the color of Jiffy or Peter Pan peanut butter. Which I like Peter that one. And the cheap stuff. Yeah, Peter. Pa Pe no, Kroger. Peter. What would be the Kroger <laughs> one? You know? Kroger. Yeah. No, it is. Yeah. Kirkland's uh, peanut butter, Kirkland's Kirkland, bath. Or, 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 or signature. Great, value, great value. That's the Maybe I'll give Walmart you the one. signature. Kirkland signature. Kirkland signature. That's the Costco house brand, and that stuff's pretty good sometimes. Not too shabby. Kirkland but signature is kind of bomb. I remember at one time I got a Kirkland signature dog bed, you know? Mm -hmm. But then I was embarrassed when people come over because so, I don't want them to know. I want them to think I got it from Pottery Barn or some shit. So I turn over the side that I say Kirkland. <laughs> God, I... <laughs> it's a dog bed. Yeah, but but somehow it's cheaping your whole environment. Kirkland. Like if they see if they see that, like imagine your couch. You have a beautiful looking couch, okay? Right. But then off the side of it, there's a big <laughs> fucking thing that say Kirkland and have that head thing under the... You, yeah, I know. Somebody would be like, I got I this hub this hub me the wrong way. Bro, me. or it's like you'll go and, and they'll have you go because I always have to look at the clothes. You have to, because it's like sometimes they have like yoga pants or whatever. You're like, you know, I actually could use a pair. Look, certain shit there, like but that. Then they have like cashmere, but it's like Kirkland cashmere and the, you know, but so yeah, I know you I know it bees like that. You know the thing is I'm one of these people, I wear a combination of expensive shit and cheap shit. Um yeah. um Same. and that way you keep people on their toes. They like well, he have a shirt that costs three hundred dollars. Yeah. So that watch must be heel, but they don't right. know that I got it from fucking Santi Ali or whatever. Or you, you know what I'm saying? Like you got to keep them on the chalk. But as long as you have a mixture of the ones, um, even if you have all cheap shit, I remember this. This is a funny thing. I used to have a girlfriend, like probably the longest term girlfriend I ever had, and she would buy. Every once in a while, she would treat herself to the most expensive shit. You know, like like she save up to get some fucking crazy piece that's way too expensive. Right. And then nobody would say shit about it. You know. Then she would get some pieces of shit from from Forever Twenty One. It never failed. Forever Twenty One was the specific one. And everybody was like. And women, we'd be walking out like, and it would be like she's a celebrity. Women would stop her and go, "Girl, what?" Where did you get X, Y, and Z? And she, Forever 21. What the fuck? I mean, without That's fail, crazy. the Forever 21 shit was a showstopper. Stop her in the street. Women touching her physically. Hold on. Hold on. Where did you get that? You know what I'm saying? And the expensive yeah. shit, not a word. Go figure. I still buy some stuff there sometimes. I'm not ashamed to say it. Like, Well, it don't matter. You know what I think is that what people take for granted is that that stuff is made in the third world countries. Yeah. By, you take for granted, the little hands that is making that one is so tender. They're so, um, you know, that because child labor is not illegal there. So doing? those hands is so tender. They're not calloused or anything like that. It's almost like a, a baby veals is making you clothing. Wait. You know what I'm saying? So the no. stitching and, and all that is there. I don't like that visual at all. Uh, I don't know why. <laughs> I do see. Like I used to charge extra for for Renato Laranja brand clothing because it was made in the exotic. I don't make the one in the U.S. Car, are you? I make it in exotic locales in the Orient uh, with 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 uh, you know the youngest virgin hands making that ones. Marcos Marco Martinez with a wow. hundred dollar donation. Thank you so much. Saying cheers. Wow. Congrats on the one hundred episodes. Here's two hundred. You know. More. Thanks for all the laughs. Much love to all the fellow fisters. Wow, that's very sweet of you, uh, uh, Marcos Martinez. Um, yeah. You know what? If things keep on going like this, you and I are gonna go through fucking hedonism forty seven or whatever. I know. Wait. And he and I at the pod says now we're going to end up smashing too, which I don't think is going to happen. It, 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 look, look, I'm going to say the percentage 
is very low of that happening. I've learned in my life that I can never say never, but the percent the, the the percentage is low. Yeah, I I um yeah, yeah. Simply yeah. because we know each other too well now. Yeah. The the exactly. mystique is gone. Exactly. Well, the mystique is gone. Okay, so I want to um speaking of um the mystique is gone. I want to share something from back in the day, mm. back in the early days where um when we were just getting started with the show and you cracked me up <laughs> and let me uh, guess you were snorting like miss piggy <laughs> yeah let's, re let's relive this moment shall uh oh we? okay here we go a lot of people are kind of you know got a little <laughs> mad and thought that michael was either like stealing patty's moment or that Michael wasn't being cool because in the post fight interview, Pat, he said, Hey, well, you almost got knocked out and said something about, you know, watch your well, head because you got to. So, so I want to know what you think because a lot about of people Bisping are pissed and off Patty the right. Batty for. Oh, God. I, you know, well, Michael is that type of guy where he's going to piss you off. You know, I mean, he's going to, he's going to bust the chops, you know? Always. And to me, I see the English um, guy who has been there, did that busting you know like uh the hooky you know you know you have the hooky carry your bags and stuff like that and she say hey listen kid you know what i'm saying that but yeah it's all from love it, there, right. it wasn't it, it wasn't like he was trying to um he wasn't trying to take cut his legs out from underneath you know yeah and then it gave because because right he real. did that stuff it yes. gave pimblet the chance to come back you're right and he said you know we fucking scouts uh, i'm a scouser we don't get knocked out. I fucking, what did I <laughs> tell you? La? What did I tell you, Mike? The <laughs> Chris Williams boxing. <laughs> the pad work. The pad work. Chris Williams boxing. <laughs> you was. I was I told you. I dead. Uh, so I, I, I enjoyed that kid. I like yeah. that one. I like that he have the same haircut as Prince Valiant <laughs> and also a He-Man. Uh, I think he looks like, too, he looks like like he's straight out of like a 60s rock band with that hair. Oh, yeah. yeah, he looked like that. Yeah, yeah, he looked like he could be in oh the Yard God. Birds or something, totally. the Birds or one of that kind totally. of oh, group. God, yeah. And, and yeah, he's he's fit at all. Someone in the thing had the best one, what they said. That he looked like an Owen Hart from the eighties. <laughs> oh, true. Uh, the, the Hessler, Owen Hart. I forgot oh, about that. Yeah, wait, 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 wait. um, perfect. Uh, but yeah, he looked all that kind of stuff, you know. And the pad where I mean, some my. What did I tell you, my? I'm the boy. I'm the boy. I'm the yeah, I forgot boy. about that. I'm oh. the. He sounds like he's gonna. He's gonna <laughs> uh, like uh, coughing up a lung when he says, uh, "I'm the new hat." I'm the new. Do you understand that one? I'm the fucking one. We don't get my talkers. Yeah, uh, I fucking told you, my. Oh, uh, for fuck's sake, it's for so her. good, dude. It's so good. It's <sighs> so good. It's so freaking funny. What? Patty's a freaking treasure. I love that dude. And yeah. that's, it, that stuff is hilarious. I'm sorry. I'll Bravo. tell you what. It it's, was funny. It's hilarious. It, was, it was funny too, your reaction. Every time I hit you with one, it was like a body shot. You was like, wow, ah, you felt the jump. That was good. I love yeah, that. Good stuff. You know, I forget about these little exchanges. You know what I mean? Like they just go in your, you right. know, like that when they over, they over. I forgot about all that. That Prince that Valiant. That was hilarious. Somebody said they felt the spit coming out from the screen. Totally, <laughs> it's totally like. I know that I've struck gold when I hear you snarch. Yeah, yeah. You know, like people have a towel in poker. If totally. you snarch, it's over with. You know what I mean? Oh, totally, totally, totally. That old cash. The cash cow. You know what's funny? Uh, Chris, uh, Chris Williams has hey, posted that. Has posted that well. story several times of the Chris Williams box. Chris Williams heel, box. The, the heel Chris Chris Williams will post that from time to time. Oh, really? The part well, that goes Chris Williams. Well, so so for people who don't know, I literally 
it's still on my phone here. When I was just in London in July, what did I text Tanatu a picture of? Friggin' Chris. Pizza Express. <laughs> pizza Express. What's this from Pizza Express? For him, Pizza Express. Express. <laughs> pizza Express. I've never heard any accent like that in my fucking life. He's so he's so through with it. So he's like, I'm Pizza Express. For him, Pizza Express. Um. You know what the fucked up thing is? I'm so sad because oh, I love I'm sure Tony. I'm sure um, uh, Tony Ferguson is is very happy about this matchup. Oh, it's a tricky matchup. I'm depressed about this matchup for because of this. I'm personal friends with Tony Ferguson. Okay, I love Tony. And then so as a friend and also as a fan, you know, like there's no way in hell. I'm going to hoot against him, you know? But I don't know for whom uh, Prince Valiant, you know? I like that. Or for whom he, man. He, lad. <laughs> yeah. For whom he, lad. For whom he. For whom like he, lad. But, he's cool. But, he's but with... I love strange characters. I love characters. And, okay, maybe he's not the fucking, at this point, yet. Yeah, he's not a fucking world champ. He's not right. the GOAT. God, are you? Do I, I love a character in this fucking thing? I know he's polarizing, but he just make me laugh, and he make me, uh, he make me feel something when I even see him in an interview, even before he was in the UFC. So to me, it's like the smart money says he's gonna get his ass kicked. You know, Tony's I pretty th- elite. I mean, the sm- I know the smart money, brief, but he's still yeah. one of the best in well, the world. Because you got to figure this. The only people he... Okay, yes, he's on a uh, losing streak. But he's on a losing streak to the creme de la creme of people. Uh, you know yeah. what I mean? Uh, 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 of UFC... Either UFC, Chop Chan, Chop 5. Right. Or legend. UFC and, legend. And in in all of those fights, he was still landing some stuff of his own. It's not like, oh, well, he was getting perfect his example. Ass Perfect example. One of our former guests, uh, Bahabi Green. Totally. He, he he was kind of in charge of that fight until he got poked in the eye. You know, uh, and nothing against Bahabi Green because I don't think he meant to do that. But right. to be honest, Johnny Ferguson looked fantastic until that happened. You know, he so he says the eight bit warrior is going to ankle pick and piece up Patty. Uh, at least that's what he's hoping well, for. Yeah, he thinks. He well, anything's Green. possible, but that's probably it. Look, if I had, if there was a gun to my head or they were like, I was betting my house or not, I was about to say my kids, not my kids, uh, my, I don't know. Um, people think, yeah, that Tony, Tony's totally going to win. I mean, most likely. And the thing is, is I would have to hoot for Tony because it's just the high thing to do. Like, like, uh, Wilford Brimley, you remember Quaker Arts? Of it's, course I know who he is. Yeah. It's a high thing to do. You know what I mean? Like, uh, for your diabetes or whatever. Diabetes. Uh, yeah. Dab, dab, I do dab, things I shouldn't do. Diabetes. Uh, diabetes yeah, that diabetes. Type 2 diabetes. diabetes. Type 2 so, diabetes. So my thing is, this is a this is a, 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 a situation where a friend of mine is fighting against a person that's a figment of my imagination. So I got to go for the friend of mine. But it bums me out because I like the idea of Patty Pimlich. You know what I mean? Well, and I've been around Patty... And you would love Patty. There's what's not to I'm love. Like he's actually positive. I would and that's love the Patty. Things, you know, because I love me some Molly McCann. I'm love all, me some all that shit. Meatball. I love Chris. I love the fucking God Chris damn it, I Williams. Love me some meatball. Yeah. So the fact that they're so close, the fact that they're so tight. So I've been able to, in you know, at work we had the you know the two of them together at the desk or whatever, or the two of them this and that, and telling stories about them. And like Patty's cool, and yeah, he's a character, and yeah, he's yeah. you know. Oh, Patty, the you know he's whatever he's got all this going on. But yeah, he's, he's a good all kid. that. Like he's he's a yeah. nice kid. Like I I I like him. I'm not mad yeah. at him. I seen. Okay, so I don't know if you ever seen this, but there was a video. This is kind of like a while ago when he was first in the UFC. You know how people he called the hang camera interactions and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. Some Liverpool chick uh, posted a he action. I mean a, a hang exchange that that was on her camera. Where yeah. Patty was walking his doggy, okay, and the doggy took a shit on this 
woman's lawn, okay? Oh, and he ran out of a bag? Well, no, he picked it up, but it was like one of those honey shits where you, like, no matter what you do, you can't really get the whole thing no matter what you try to do. So this guy had the, he had the wherewithal or the, the, the heart to actually go up and knock on the fucking door and say he was sorry that he was not able, that he tried his best and he was not able to pick up every speck of the shit that oh, was on the lawn. So nice. And the fucking woman started freaking out because this is, after all, Liverpool. And she goes, you're not fucking party, the body, are you? You know, like, and they started going out and he was like, oh, yeah, bro. And it was just like, yeah, you know? And, and um, look, I have to pick up off my front lawn daily. I have to pick up piles of fucking shit that people at fucking pieces human pieces of shit leave behind so to think that a person would like come to say sorry about not getting all of the shit it says a lot about a person's character to yeah, me even though that even though that seems funny it, 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 that little things like whether you put back your shopping cart how you treat waiters if you use your turn signal just little little stuff is it can be a big tell in in a person's like what they about you know and i pay attention to those things and it, it even though it seems insignificant some of that shit is very very significant it's not insignificant at all yeah no i agree i agree yeah. no i like him uh i like him and uh but yeah i agree it's you know we because we were talking about that at work the last time i was there it was uh <clears throat> me and uh alan and Oh, Jean-Hibert. Jean Jean Jean-Hibert. Was it me, Alan, and... D I oh, miss, Alan and I miss Alan and his wifey. What about that? I miss Alan and Nicole. I know. I used to go you... see... You used to, too. I used to see you at parties there and shit. All the time. I you miss know, those I... fuck. I miss that guy. You know, um, I... Alan's... Uh, both of them. But, you know, obviously I know Nicole because of Alan. But he has such a good spirit. and. He's a good dude. Yeah, I can. Yeah, he's a very good dude. He's a very he's good a friend. Good dude. So I will yeah. see him on. Sorry, I, I will see him on um, Friday because I'm working with him and Light Skinned Heart this weekend. Uh, it, it's nice to work with your friends, isn't it? I know. I have such a good it's time. A, it's a luxury. Honestly, I'm very, very fortunate, and I know this, and I'm very. Uh, I'm very appreciative of the fact that I work with people that I absolutely enjoy their company and it's not a chore for most of the people that I work with. Like most of the people that I encounter during the course of the weekend are great. There's a mm. couple, I'm not going to lie. There's one person <laughs> that I don't, honestly. There's, how could how can there not be? There's one person that I'm not a fan of at all and don't care for at look all. leave dominic cruz out of this i'm kidding i'm kidding i'm kidding but um uh, but other but the a-hole factor is very few and far between yeah and that's important because look let's put it to you this way you've no one has a job i don't care what job you at somebody's an asshole there, right. there there's no such thing it, that would be like saying you like everybody at school Right, or they say there's going to be some if there's, if there's no asshole. a hole at work, the a hole is it's you. It's you, <laughs> exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's always an asshole in your neighborhood. There's an asshole. You have a group of people at the dog park. There's an asshole at uh, anywhere, anywhere. Oh. There's no, and that's the it's nature just the of life. Natural order of things. Well, here's the thing. I just thought of something. Well, I've thought about it before, but if there wasn't such thing as assholes, how would we know who is good or who you like? Right, you, you need the bottom of you need the bottom of the curve. You need the yeah. You, you need, need light to know what is dark. You need you dark. need sun 100%. to know what is hay or the nighttime. You know, like uh, there's no such thing as as one thing in this life. Here. There's no such thing. Well, and it's funny because I I've always said, and Aurora just laughs at me, but my kiddo, I say to her, I'm like, look at kid. I don't, I don't ever want to, you know, mess up or whatever, but let's say I ever got in trouble and I had to go to jail. Oh God. I, I was like, I would be like, I would, I would find the badass B, you know, the mm. woman in charge and I would be her court jester. I'm like, basically I mm. would entertain her. 
And and I was like, and so I think I would actually survive because there's always the mouth, right? There's always well, the chatty guy. There's always if you yeah. you know, there's always there's always that guy. And I feel like I could keep myself safe if I provided entertainment. You can. You can. The only that problem would be my plan of attack if I ever go to jail. The only trouble in paradise, and you hide about this. The only trouble in paradise, because check it for me, I have a number of <laughs> People in my immediate family who have been locked up for considerable Chinese. What's the trouble in paradise there is that the entertainment don't stop at making someone laugh. That's the part that you're not going to enjoy. And then also the other part that you're not thinking of, which sucks shit, is the, the kind of the degradation of you're going to along with that you become someone's personal assistant yeah it's like it would be as if they're a celebrity and you're their personal assistant you know oh i got a perfect uh equation for this but if it's keeping me from getting you beat know, up or whatever true jail. true but it would be like this so you're not gonna get killed you're not gonna get your head stomped in but it would be like this you harvey weinstein's female personal assistant mm. it's a that gets it's better than awful, getting yeah. it's it's better than getting killed but it comes with you got to do work you got to you, you you got to be subservient to that person you know yeah no i would not like not and that's the thing otherwise am i trying to make a play to be the boss house b i don't mm -mm. think so cuz i'm not violent and i don't have what it takes to yeah. be cutthroat enough to hurt people well another thing about that too that it's the catch 22 which fucking sucks about about prison about the whole way that that thing works is that along with okay let's say you the toughest motherfucker on earth okay and you like i'm gonna go in here somebody fuck with me i'm gonna kill that motherfucker okay all you're doing is giving yourself life in prison right why do i want to do so that? that's the fucked up part is the same heat precautions as outside exist but it the the daily getting fucked with and getting into violent exchanges is magnified exponentially. So you, you're putting this catch 22 in there. Uh, it's what a fucking head fuck in a sad situation that is. Agreed. Agreed. Um, I, I, I agree. And listen, I just want to say that, um, a lot of people are, um, are just, um, hanging out here in the comments and stuff. Oh, um, let, I want to hear. I want to hear from these. I know. People. Well, L El, El Chino Loco talking about the hardcores are oh. here, um, and Elmo Duran. They're saying that the world loves a holes because that is kind of true. Um, but um, mm. Hasburgers is there at three forty-five a.m. <laughs> over in Europe. Wow, um, where? Wait, Has, ha, Hasburgers? Are you in like where you at? Like uh, Germany or some shit? And, well, they're also asking who's putting some reefer in the air right now. So, and not me. I I didn't put the heifer, but I could. <laughs> and there's apart some. from their selfie. Um, uh, <laughs> oh well, this library uh, had some shortcake. Uh, library shortcake had some edibles before, which is great. Man, I have to um, be careful with those fucking edible. Hey, I Joe, tell you what, uh, Jay Weenie is asking Uncle Hanach, what was how, what were house parties like in New York when it was all cramped apartments? Well, okay. So first of all, I didn't really growing up in New York. I grew up in Hill, but but. My, I was just gonna say a, because that in was a sense, I'm trying to figure out the time. Frame. In a sense, I grew up in New York. That my most formative twenties was in New York. So I would have to say that one of the most exciting things about house parties in New York was the ones that I attended that I wasn't invited to. So, like, you could be in a situation where you and your friends went to a club. You know, like let's say you was downtown and you went to Webster Hall. Oh, I used to love Webster. Which was so much fun because it was a oh, fucking... Great. Imagine this. This was the greatest concept. It was a club that had like, I want to say, four or five different levels. Dude, I freaking loved it. No, yes. I it was incredible. I loved it. But the, the genius thing about that club was... No, I thought it was Mars, though, was the one with multiple floors. Webster Hall was... was... I will I, 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 I will no, never forget. No, I guess they had some too, I, but I, I think I, the other I, one I've had been more. There, they... I've been there like... I, I don't know how many fucking times. I even shot a commercial there. I no, mean, I know, I've been there. I know you're right. Because yeah. I remember going to, um, I believe it was, yes, I remember going to there for some parties. Because yeah. the other one I'm thinking of is on like 
10th Avenue by the water, it was like Mars I, or something. Had oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Wait, wait, wait. By the water, they used to have uh, 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 the channel was over there. Right. Or there was one that was like multiple floors over on one of those far, far avenues by the water. Yeah. Okay. Um, but the fucking thing about Westo Hall totally. that I loved was it would be uh, like they had floors going up and floors going down. And each fucking floor, let's say they had five floors, okay? Uh, you could you could see three of them, but then below there's like two more. Each fucking floor had a different type of music, therefore a different scene. But you could go between anyone you want. So you would go with a group of guys and you might get lost and find you other guys in some weird other, you might find them in the dance hall hair get one. Or the fucking uh, house music one, the acid jazzy house music one, mm -hmm. or the hardcore hip one, and hip hop one, and then, but each one it was a completely different diaspora mm -hmm. of yeah, people, totally. and also what was crazy too is, like, you would walk, you would you would go on the train and you'd be in a, a fucking down coat and it's freezing to the point where you you got hazel blades hitting your face outside, and then you walk in there. And it's like hot and hege and weed smoke and you're drunk and you maybe maybe if you're lucky you're making out with women or you're dancing you're dirty dancing with you and boy oh boy was was that stuff fucking so much fun but what was the question again they were just asking what it was like going to oh how funny oh okay in the cramped so, apartments so so let's say you went to one of that fucking kind of club and then nothing you know nothing happened which for guys that means you had no prospect of getting laid <laughs> so now you're trying to find another place girls by the way well not always sometimes they're like we just wanted to dance Ugh. anyway um so we would check we, we would go with the um so then you kind of like maybe you're walking down in the village or you're walking somewhere in the alphabet city or something and then all of a sudden you hear like some dumping shit, and then you see people kind of hang congregating around and you see that there's something going on and you just say, fuck it, let's go crash this party. You know what I mean? And you just go walk up in there. And if you play it cool, you don't act like a fucking asshole, belligerent. You could just smooth in and bullshit how you know people in the party. I used to love going to like a parties in New York oh. City. I lived there for seven years. And like, yeah, when you go somewhere and it's all hot and sweaty in there and it's tight and cramped, but you meet some people and you yeah. see them, you're like pushed up right against each other. Like, excuse me, Spartan, excuse me, whatever yeah. you like to get by and stuff. And like, and said, people hanging out on the stairs, the steps and, and shit, and cold outside, maybe the and fire go, escapes. And then you get in there and you can't wait to take your jacket off. And depending on, or if you go to a club and you're like, where's the goddamn coat check. And if oh, not, you try to tuck it somewhere and pray that you doesn't steal it. Yeah. And, uh, and then, you know, but you're there and you're, and yeah, like, well, if there's a fight at the club, that's when people steal all the jackets and stuff, so, you know, like yeah. people are just hunting out and stealing jackets. But I but, miss but, it. I loved it living in New York. I, I used to have so it. much. I, I'll tell you what, too, you, you go on like, um, also a part of those parties that was unique that you don't really have now. I mean, like, let's say in LA as much is that not only did you have the arch and the stairs of the people, but you had the hoof. So people is congregating on the hoof. There might be a DJ up there. Who knows? But another part of that is I can't tell you a handful of times I almost fucking lost my life being drunk. Oh, I drunk, bet you almost fell drunk off. Drunk or high because sometimes you walk in a hound on a hoof and you don't realize like, oh, there's like this, there's this area that's kind of cut out. That's like, uh, it's like the courtyard of the whole building. Right, right, and right. There's, there's nothing marking off that that's there. And like you're like whoa, whoa, shit! Like you almost fall to your death. Totally, it's not and that like, hard to, to die. I I sometimes have had have thought about those situations, and you know, like when you wake up from a dream, you go ah! I've had that from daydreams, thinking about that shit because I almost died the, on, on a hoof. Dude, like I hundred percent. I don't know how many fucking like, times. Oh god, that was a close call. And you would think the person at the party would like maybe mark something off or tell people, hey, be careful in the hoof because there's this. Yeah. It's like the wild, wild west. Anything goes. And I'm like, I almost just died at this party. Yeah. Because Shane Burgos is a former guest of ours here on this show. Uh, we had him on. Oh, and, uh, shit. That guy, yeah, Wait. he's a dog. So yeah, that just yeah. tripped me out. He was a friendly, a friendly guy, though. He was a good guest. Oh, he's a yeah. great guy. Yeah. yeah. I, feel like he's, he's, I got nothing, really nothing but respect for him. And I'm happy for him. Uh, 
he signed a huge deal with the PFL apparently, yeah. and it yeah. sounds like I'm all for fighters making money. Like, good yeah. for him, man. I'm super happy yeah. for him. Yeah, yeah the only sad thing, is we, well, go ahead. the only sad thing is like he had to be on the same hostel with, um, you know, some subpar fighter. Uh, it shall be he na- na- he made nameless, but good. he's 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 obese. I'll give you a hint. He's oh, obese, geez. and he's a pig. Doesn't uh, he fight <laughs> like light heavyweight? Exactly. I don't know. He's heavy as far as I'm concerned. He's so that's over- he's- and I believe he's like like six one or so. He fights at overweight. So Listen, I don't want to get into this. I don't want to get so into this with you. I'm this isn't about Vinny. I'm no clinician. Oh, no <laughs> Vin- Vinny Bangladesh. <laughs> Yeah, Vinny Bangladesh. <laughs> he's a piece. Listen, I don't want to. Uh, you guys, this you guys still, you guys are still running with that rivalry. That is <laughs> yep. the longest man. Yep. You guys haven't, you guys haven't squashed that yet. Listen, okay. he venges a, a dish best served old Karaya. You guys are in the long, the long like, run. I like that. No, it's really it's like a grumpy old man, Karaya. It's like a Walter <laughs> Matthau and fucking Jack Lemon. Only as Jack Laranja. <laughs> you know this is true. It's not unlike that situation. It's an unfortunate situation, you know. Yeah, you a lot of things are going to never bury the hatchet, huh? Well, I'll tell you, uh, you know, it's it's put a lot of stress on his family. Look, his he his his wife he used to used to hit me in the the DMs a lot. This has put a strain on his family. You know that they broke up because of this. Do you know about that? Wait. Do you know that Alini and Did him is really divorced? Did he break up with his wife? Look at her. She don't even go by Magalhães anymore. Wait, are you serious? Go look at her, if you don't believe me. She calls herself like Eleni Vegas or something like so that. So Vinny's yeah. single? Well, he's, du- he's, he's double. He's, a, he's like a, a, the size of a two people. But he's, he's single, yeah. Enjoy yourself. Go ahead. You want to get herpes slash AIDS slash cholera slash habeas? Then he'd be my guest. I was Plus, working on something earlier today, trying to line something up in the future. I, I please do. I did no, not with him, with another person. Where I was like, "Hey, I'm gonna be in your part of town," and he was like, "Oh, really?" And I, and I was, I because I was like, "Hey, this is Vinnie Magon. It's not Vinnie Magon. Oh, okay, good. But it's a person where I was like, "Hey, um." Looks like I'm gonna be in your part of town uh, at such and what such. What a town! <laughs> you said that like a fucking uh, alfalfa. You, I'm gonna be inside of town, mom. Um, if you're around, maybe you know, maybe maybe you show me around. And uh, I wish I knew he, who the fuck it was so I could make fun of this shit. He said uh, that he thinks he'll be around. Wait, 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 wait. When's the ne- where's the next UFC? I'm not going to say where and who I'm talking about, uh, but I would be excited to be, quote unquote, shown around by this person. Uh, wait, where is just say. Being shown around would be pretty fantastic. Okay, and you I swear it's shut, not Vinnie Malone. Shu- I need to shut up. I wait, you sure up. it's not going to be Has- Vinnie Malone? Uh, Hasburgers is you- a two pound. Uh, uh, I keep saying pound or euro. It's euro. How did the it's beast a pound. stem from mastering this? The, 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 the it's site? true. No, this is true. The you beef happened? was. How did it? St- I forget. He have, he, we did an interview. He should have been glad to be even included in that one. He was a fucking nobody. He was famous for losing on the ultimate fight, for getting knocked out on the ultimate fight. Then he was. Yeah. And I was trying to throw him a bone. You know what I mean? He's an up and coming young man. And he just was from the start. He was arrogant. He was uh, he was ka ka sure. He was and he didn't show the proper his back. And he was just there, just belligerent. But yeah, is there a possibility? Yeah, no. that you guys are just sort of both jockeying for position, and that it's 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 that you got you're both sort of recognize maybe a little bit of something in each other and so maybe that's where the beef comes from is, is Hubbard De Niro j- j- jockeying for position with uh, 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 Timothy Chalamet so he's De Niro no 
And you're selling. Or maybe it? I should put it to this way. Well, I'm not who's sure a, who, are who's one of the fatter? Is, is, is that an argument about youth or, or talent? I don't know what the. I it's about it's about status. It's about uh, place in history. Timothy Chalamet is doing really well and he's good and he's very talented. Okay, so then maybe Screech. Hero, but now who's older, a fat? And he's obviously who's a hero, fat? Who's a fat a baby again. celebrity? No, that's what you know, huh? Who's a fat celebrity? You know who it is? I meet Chevy Chase and he's Horatio Sands. Oh. Horatio Sands. I forget who that is. All right, you look it up. I'm just saying, I feel like you might have a skewed idea of what. Why are you focusing on Vinnie Mongo? I'm not focusing He's on Vinnie He's a Mongo. fucking nobody. What have he did? I'm what have he ever did? Him. I was just what showing that little won? clip in a in a, in a in a throwback moment because this is the hundredth show and we're. He's celebrating. famous for losing. He's famous for losing to people. And it's our hundredth show, and we're looking back on funny clips from a hundred from our hundredth episode. Fair enough. I'll shut this hundredth episode down if you're not, if you're not careful. Okay. 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 <laughs> uh oh. What do you make of? Uh, Zhang Wei Li going to train with Triple C now. I don't know how obviously. long this is, so I can skip Just ahead. What did you make of her coming over here to change her training? Wait. Anything that she's doing now has got to be, got to be a little bit better. So you hitting on Rose? Before. You start hitting on Rose, or whatever. Do I? I don't remember so that. We're, we're all ready for that. We got. Yeah. You know, here uh, we go. Here we go. I don't feel like I hit on her. So you do. It's it's. Uh, I'm I'm ready for it all. I bet. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you have a patch, you know, um, and I noticed he 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 yeah. give you he he give you like that. What he says to you, you guys, they have a videos. You guys say stuff back and forth to each other, like, I'm the like I'm the best. <laughs> yeah, I'm right. the best. You're the fucking best. Yeah, you're the fucking best. If you and I, let's say something unfortunate. Here we go. Fall patch. And ah. <laughs> let's say. Yeah, she like that. You and I is is I kind of pick up the torch where patch was left okay. off. What yeah. kind of stuff you think we would say to each other? Like, <laughs> like, oh, God, I look at you. Look at those dimples. And then <laughs> I go, and you see the dimple there? Yeah. I go, and you go, look at you, dimple. And I go, look at you. And then you go, look at that. And then we get jazzed up. Wait, where's your dimple at? Let me see. Where? <laughs> Unbelievable. I see it. I see it. Oh, um, my God. So I yeah. feel that we would have a connect from that, and we would kind of, like, get a different vibe going, you know? Yeah, yeah, I can and, and you would get energy from that. <laughs> yeah. And you would want to, to, to win so that you can you can keep our relationship alive uh -huh. and yeah. to thrive me. Yeah. Uh -huh. you know, yeah. Yes. Oh god are you? Look at that. I will I will I will Yeah. Oh wow. You know when you, you can see the, the moment where someone fell in love with someone, you know? You can like you can chart the moment where she started to like You think so? Yeah, it's like, you know, when you say someone break in a fight, like she broke. When she saw that one, di when she saw that, she broke. That set her off. Yeah, because she let go. I never seen her so free. You know what I mean? She was like a weight has been lifted. Like I can breathe again. Uh, you know? You might be right to some degree. I'm not going to lie. You might be right. She did have more fun. I will say this, and we know this, and we've said it, that people are, are and I say this every time at the beginning, but like mm. people are different on our show and our show is different. True. Like people, people, you don't get the same kind of interview. You don't get, no. even last week, for example, folks, Alexander Hernandez is on with us. And <laughs> it, he's fighting it this weekend and he's such a fun, yeah. funny guy. I really like him. Wow. But before he came on from his management, I got this whole message of like, okay, well, you know, Alexander can only give you X amount of time because <laughs> yeah. he's got to go to bed. And sure. blah, 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 blah. Well, he's got to go to bed. He gets on with us like 15 minutes in. I was like, okay. And I was like, you don't oh, want to leave. Or a half hour in. Oh, when they, at whatever point they gave me the time limit, I go, I acknowledge it. I'm like, Alexander, yeah. I know we got to let you go. It's the time thing. And he's like, <laughs> yeah. He was like, F that. Stayed for like double, if not more, the time. Yeah, the because time. it's fun. It's fun. It's fun to hang out, you know? Um, and also out. for, you know, um, for Hose, it was fun because. Show us. You haven't shown it to us yet. Oh, Ryan I mean, wants to see one? your plant spot. 
Look at the dimensions of that. You know what? This is based on Karen Bryant's physique. I had them to do, what do you call? Is that one? The 3D print. I yeah. showed them a picture and they 3D print her cheeks here. Did you see and the this video is what came I out. shared? And this is her vagina. Oh, God. No, know. it isn't. Did you see the video I shared of me jumping rope yesterday? Oh, no. But I, I've seen a couple in the past and I'm not mad at that one. I'd yeah, like to well, see you. I, I, I could do. I, I actually thought about. I was like, maybe I should um, show. I, maybe I should do this video and put it oh, out like in slow motion. Because I was like, Ple maybe. Oh, maybe is this just, slow motion? No, this is just what it looks <laughs> like. But, oh. but, uh, but I thought about it. I was uh, like, maybe I should put this oh, out in up. slow motion. Recently, I made a couple decisions where I put myself uh -huh. first. But and you know, to what I really maybe oh, I could make what I what I was Can you do that in high heels? No, I, I can't. In high heels? No, I uh, can't. Turn on hound on that one. Where's the camera? Turn, where's the second view? You need to set up another camera in the back. Mm -hmm. You know, that was one of the number one comments when I said we're doing the hundred. They said, is she going to show the cheeks on this one? I don't. I don't know. I hadn't made that decision. I'm not. I don't think I'm wearing cheap. anything fancy. But yeah, I thought maybe I should just put this video out in slow motion. I think you, first of all, the answer is yes, and then the second answer is we need the other side of the cheeks, the other side of the moon, the dark side, side of, the of the moon. Thing. But you would totally uh, laugh because there are times when I'm jumping and it is, and they are clapping. I'm like, oh my god, thank God, no one's here. Embrace the chi, the chi, embrace it. Uh, you know, and listen, the sound, the, do like, you the cheeks? The sound of it is pretty funny. Do you cheeks make a sound clapping if no one else is there to hear? Yes, see that they one? do, no matter what, no matter. Okay, you know, but I'll be the judge of that. Myself. You know, it, it's like this. You know, in those movies, the like, I don't know what they call that one. Not Poltergeist, but like, what's those ones that everybody like with this ghost in the house and these ghost hunters or whatever? What's that one? The Conjuring. Okay. So it's like, you could say you have ghosts in your house and all that stuff, but I got to be the judge of that. You know, I got to come with my equipment and stuff like that. So I need to see what's going on with this clapping sound. And if he's really a figment of your imagination. It's there, it's real, it's um, embarrassing. Well, <laughs> I don't think it's embarrassing. I think it's, it's, it's life affirming. It means you're alive. It, it will. That's your cheeks it, cheering you on. Like, come on, you got this. You know? What God are that's you? That's actually pretty funny. You might you not and be I wrong about it. You and that's I should do. And that's actually a really nice way of looking at it. Well, I think it is, and I think you and I need to play. We can play hopscotch. We should do a channel where we play. You and I play hopscotch. We play jacks, and we also play chug of war. But instead I of just... a hope, you can fight over my Johnson like this. You can pull that I... one, like in Porky's. You know that one who was like that penis had a mole on it. Oh you know how that God. one woman. Bleed for us. Grab his Bleed. Penis. Oh, yeah. That's what it is. We was oh, talking about that earlier. Point. You know, when people get into the blood loss, they just kill each other. You know, mm -hmm. they they forget. I, I want long two human beings. I'm not Raya trying. To, the last fight I went in was a war, man. I'm trying to not yeah. slur my words over forty. You know? yeah. I want to make sense. I remember it's talking to it. people. I talk to people. I'm in the plane or whatever, and you know, if a fan comes up, and this one dude said this to me one time. A fan came over, took a picture, and I was just having a regular conversation with him, yeah. and he was like. Man, two people came up to take pictures. Who are you or something? And I'm like, ah, <laughs> shit. And I'm like, uh, I heard people Nobody. for a living. Yeah, right? Yeah. That's what I said. Yeah. I heard people for a living. He's like, yeah. what was that mean? And I'm like, professionally. I, I can be professional. I'm a fighter. And yeah. he was like, wow, you speak so well. Ah. Uh, I'm yeah. like, oh, thank you. How am I supposed to sound? Yeah, well, man. I'll be up in this bitch all the time, man. You know what I'll be saying, yo, because wow. you know, that's what I do. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> At least it's either you, you're not that... ignorant or you don't slow your words or both. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> At least it was just the fighter part and not like, wow, you speak that for a black guy. <laughs> hey, let me jump ahead here, cuz. Uh... <laughs> Where I go on my youth, everything all right. <laughs> Oh yes, we're well, talking, well, we wanting to get real Jamaican right. in the octagon. Uh, I like that. Uh, I like that. You, you control the area. 
Yeah. <laughs> I, I like that shit. I, I really want to get I, on the mic one day and just be like, yo, big up Jamaica. Whoa, go ahead. Please, please. Oh, yes. do that. You know what you should do? Me. Next time, do next it. time you when you so fight. Props. You know and how people Karen do. follow you and do the same. <laughs> you know how people do the same shit? You know how people do the, the, do the in English and then for their fans the translate. at home? Just do for the fans. Uh, can yeah. I say something to my people in Jamaica? And then just go the fuck off. And, yes. and, and, I mean, just go the fuck off. And, and you know, I'm gonna end it. I'm gonna end it like this. Booyaka, booyaka. Yeah, booyaka, booyaka. Yeah. Blup, 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 blup. Yeah, you gotta uh, carry a fucking air horn. So great. Yeah. <laughs> 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 to do that, my you have to translate Yeah, you have to translate what you said. Yeah. <laughs> Rude oh my god, he said that he loves everyone yeah. and he hopes everyone gets home safe. We need yeah. to put you a translator, <laughs> my mom. a Jamaican you translator. You know, when you show I me mean, this, I didn't realize. Oh, when you, uh oh. No, good. Oh, sorry, sorry, Glitchy, sorry, sorry. You good know, times. it's funny when you're showing me this shit, I, you couldn't pay me to have him remember that that exchange really? happened. No, but I just, you know, like, uh, um, it's just like you go to the store and you talk to someone, have a conversation, you forget, you know, you forget what you said and shit like yeah. that. I, I do. Forgot I all forget about that. a lot of the time that I'm like, oh, snap, I just talked to that person and I have no idea what they said. Uh, yeah. I was well. engaged and I was living it in the moment, but I don't, I talk to so many people. Oh, yeah. That's that what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Everything. Yeah. yeah. And, and to be honest, like sometimes that means that you're more engaged, uh, at least that you don't remember what you said. Right. Because you know, because you're paying attention to what somebody's right. talking about. You're true. not That's in fair. your head, you know. That's fair. Um I know that from performing, uh in in acting the the you know, the the uh, yeah. Oscar award winning stuff that I did as an actor. Uh but I could always tell when a scene was great because I couldn't remember what happened. Right, because you were living in the moment. Because right. you're in a zone, you're in the present, you're not you're not thinking. The worst is when you do shitty, you remember every minuscule nanosecond of that because you 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 consciously calculate it you know you're thinking yeah. oh i said this oh i wish i didn't tell her. you know yeah. but the best is when you don't remember it's like wow and then it's like because you're almost like in a trance you know right. um but what the fuck i was saying um what Some was of the that point early of that? stuff we did was very funny oh i you know as you're showing me these things i'm thinking to myself not to shit on anybody else's podcast or anything like that but i'm like I don't see any clips from anybody else's podcast that look like that. Dude, our guest list has been incredible. And what we've but provided the subject entertainment matter, wise is unparalleled. I have think. you ever seen him look like so much fun on no. anything? No. Even after a win in the UFC or anything. Because even to, to a little see, to, for, for folks who don't know a little bit of secret insider stuff, when I, because I know Uriah and I've known him for a while and I've I've gotten along with him and I've seen his personality, but I remember when I was like, oh hey yeah, I've got Uriah coming by, and it was one of those things where at the same time as it was like cool, we've got a new UFC fighter, the we also did at the same time have to go hey wait a minute though, I wonder how we'll do because on other shows he maybe has seemed less less enthusi to be there, yeah, and like and so you're kind of like oh you're right okay. Yeah, maybe. Um, he, what if he's the kind of guest that doesn't like to be on these shows? But mm -hmm. as soon as he's on with us, and he's like, "Oh no, it's different." He yeah. had a blast. Yeah, I mean, think about it this way: take Match Brown. You you probably episode. didn't even. I love that yeah, episode. You probably didn't even know the guy could, is capable of smiling, let alone making jokes and laughing his ass off, and and so it's like. I would think that 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 managers would be clamoring to get the fucking. I mean, these motherfuckers is gonna get serial commercials out of this if if they play the cards right, you know. Dude, I agree with you because um the uh yeah like when people like I'm like I'm saying with them like when people come on with us they are not the same like it's no, not okay the same another one even shows. better hoes hoes uh, Nama Yunus. I never seen her like tilt her head back and with a, you know, like with the dimples and stuff. She's usually right. pretty fucking like pretty like dour and serious and, and kind of like downbeat. You know what I mean? Right. Right. Yeah, she was a lot of times.
Now here, I was gonna say this is oh god, so people can people see people that don't have the that have like, the disease. This is some of us with Matt Brown. Fucking Gratch. No. He was talking about how he and, was there you know, the night Dimebag got shot from Pantera. Yeah. to fight the champion. I did a line in the bathroom like five minutes before, and I was like, I'll fight that son of a bitch. Let's go. I'm trying to find stuff, a, so a good part. Anyway. Like, whether that but well, when, funny, when he was talking about what, his working at the but, the know, fucking I, salad oh, factory, the, he was the, laughing. In the, in the vinaigrette yeah. place, right? Yeah, the no, vinaigrette. The that... <laughs> yeah. But we had a great time with no, that. No, I guys. remember, you know, my brother, okay, before so he, he made it in the MMA scene, he was a salad dressing technician for uh, uh, Marzach. And yes. he's, I'm not kidding. And he's single-handedly responsible <laughs> for me never wanting to buy pro, uh, um, commercial <laughs> salad dressing ever fucking again in my life. You know, you know what I made was, uh, you know, like. Uh, <laughs> so for people who don't know, like Matt was hilarious. That was such a fun episode. Yeah. I love him. Oh, I, I absolutely. I mean, he's great. He he he's great. I, and I, it, you never know about these people. I mean, watching him over the years, I just thought he's a kind of person like, yeah, don't don't fuck around with him. He's not gonna have a sense. You know what I mean? Like he. Well, and that's the thing. I will say this. You never know about there, people. There's definitely been some people where I maybe had a little bit more of a clue that they would be good guests than you did. Because maybe, True, because maybe you have in personal interaction you know, yeah. at, at work yeah. or whatever. Maybe I For had sure. a little bit better idea. For sure. But, but still in all in general, they're, I'm not going to lie. Like a lot of people were definitely, I was like, well, let's see what happens. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, there's I a don't bunch. I mean, know. Kelvin Gastelum uh, is one, like, I mean, who well, stick out in my mind. I was going to say, so here, look at Hanato. Here's some of the, uh, and let me move this a second because um, this way people can see it more. But like so some people you would, you would assume is kind of funny or would have a good sense of humor. But there's some people I would have been like, no, nah, this guy's going to be a, he's going to be too serious. Right. Um, so I don't know if this is going to show all of them. I hope it shows all of them, but I'm not well, sure if it it's going to show all of it them. It shows nine of them. Oh, right. Well, no, I was going to say I uploaded a bunch of slides, so there should be eight pages of this. But for example, oh, shit. Here, so this is Dan Hooker, Glover Teixeira, Ally Aquinta, Bobby Green, Carlos Condit, um, uh, Clay, Clay Guida, Guida, Sergio Pettis, Adrian Yanez, and, and um Perillo, Jason Perillo. Oh, Perillo. Okay, Perillo is another fucking example. I, I didn't have a fucking heat on what he was going to be like. And the guy was great. And he had a great Amazing. sense of humor. And he, was, he, 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 he got what was going on. I mean, he was fucking great. And you never know about these people. Well, and so, by the way, out of all of these, I love the, the, the with Carlos Condit, that's us. We we're talking about like hot air balloon yeah. bangs in New yeah, Mexico. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That that was that was a great. Yeah, that which was great. Is that so great. funny to me. So I love that. Uh, but Dan Hooker is also an amazing guy, and like great one. Just all of these people are 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 really really great. All and these like guys Giannis, were fucking funny. And Yanez, we got him. I think it was like right after the fight where he smashed what's his face in um where he yeah. smashed the racist oh. guy. And so we were I can't about remember his name, but I know who you're talking about because he's his his Andrew girlfriend's Lee's a fighter. boyfriend. Tra yeah, 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 yeah. Anyway, we talked yeah. to Adrian like right after he smashed yeah. that guy. So yeah. that was very good. And he okay. was great and he had a winning smile. Okay, well exactly. oh well Karate Hadi, we had a couple chimes and karate. Don't get me started on that one. You love karate hottie. So there's karate hottie, Wonder Boy, Tracy yeah. Cortez. Um, um, oh, Cortez, yeah. and we had we had her when I she mean, was sorry, still with. I mean, sorry, not Tracy Cortez. That's Cynthia Calvillo. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Oh, okay. Well, she Tracy was attracted Cortez on different me, page. Sure. So that's Michelle Waterson, Wonder Boy. Um, okay, Cynthia Jeff Calvillo. Neal was a pleasant surprise, true. Like he Jeff was Neal, fucking right? great. Danny uh, Roberts, hot chocolate. Hot chocolate was great. Hello. Then there's Mickey Gall. Um, then there's Chris Mick, I already Weidman know Mickey Gall. Very special episode. Very oh, special episode. Yeah, that was that was hard. That was gut hunching. Marvin Vittori. There's I already know Phil Vittori. Rowe. Yeah, so Phil Hall a lot was of fucking great. Quality people right there. Oh, Wonder Boy was a lot of fun too. Yeah, Wonder Boy was great. Remember, we did a lot of stuff about like favorite like martial arts movies. No, yeah, and... yeah, 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 yeah. No, I, I like I like me. Wonder Boy is great, man. He's a he's, he was great. But a He's lot a of people, and Marvin is always great too, Marvin Vittori. But honestly, on that one, the very spe I think the very special episode with you and Chris is the one everybody really talks about, right? 
a lot of healing happened. It was pain, it, you know, there's a lot. We had to go, we had to hit hot bottom before we could, uh, you know, some of the well, healing could took place. A lot of healing, but I'm glad. But it's funny because I actually just was hanging out with Cynthia Calvillo the other day. Did she ask about me? We had a long father? talk, and I like her so much. She's such a cool girl. Okay. She probably was bothering you, like, what's up? Where's Uncle Hanach? What's up with Uncle Hanach? So, how about this? Gay guard, who you know I love. Okay, okay, okay. He's probably the number one example, okay? Because you told me, so you was blue in the face about how you great friends with him. He's so yep. fun. He's great. Yep. I had never met him or had an interaction with him, okay? So, I was, of course, I was a fan of his fighting, but he came off like a stiff. I thought he was like a fucking zombie. I thought yeah. he was like Drago. I thought he was like Drago from Hockey 4. Right. I thought he was going to be like, uh-huh, yes, I killed him, yes. Uh, you know, uh, he couldn't have had a more winning smile, being warm, funny, uh, like a Haskell. Uh, um, everything I box I could check about someone I want to hang out with or talk to, he had. I told you. And I'm like, where is this fucking guy? In the, it's in because the rest a lot of, these of time, Hinato, he doesn't care. And so yeah. if he doesn't care, and if you don't give him enough reason to care, like he won't even True. make the effort. But that's Easy. my homie, like, like for instance, literally, oh, wait, no. wait, one of my best buddies, yeah. like in the whole entire game. Like, and I know literally. I used to tell me and I couldn't see it. I go, I go, I want to believe it. I understand you saying this, but I see no evidence of this. You know what I mean? I, I, and then, and then of sure enough, we was fast friends immediately, you know, immediately. And, and, um, he was one of my fa very favorite guests ever. He's incredibly likable, so much fun. So there's Gay Guard. I would have Calvin lost a bet. Cater. Yeah. Oh, Calvin Cato was Calvin. fucking great. Okay, Hi. all of the, all of the, Hi. um, let's yeah, say this the is the sexy page, obviously, because it's got, it's got <laughs> Gay Guard, Calvin, and then Ka Khalil at the top. Then oh, we, had Dean, yeah. we had Dean Thomas, Tracy well, Cortez. Everyone knows Dean Thomas is going to be funny. I Dean mean, Thomas that's Miller. a no Tracy Cortez was great at the time. Right. Another she one was attracted still from with me. Brian Ortega. So Brian Ortega I think that that's some... what broke them up. Yeah, no. I, I would I would venture to say that's what broke them up. It's like he but couldn't at, get at, that at out rate, of his crop. At the time, Brian was still uh, uh, she and Brian were still things. So Brian makes a, a, yeah, a, but... little, a couple of cameos in there. But then we had Rob Font. Then we had Sugar Rashad oh, Evans. Fine. These are out of order too, by the way, folks. Oh God. But um, Rashad Evans. Uh, Eric's Eric Anders. Oh, we'll Eric like, Anders, one Eric of the light skinned people on, the on earth. Team and and Drew Dober. I mean, but everybody on Drew these Dober. everybody's good. Everybody was good, you know. Everybody, there was no dud. Everybody was fun. Okay, let me go to another page. Okay, look at this, Brandon Royval, who's fuck fighting, <laughs> fighting for another, the title. An, a, another great one. Sage Northcutt. Oh, yes, Sage. Mr. Hinato, sir. Sage, yeah. We love a Sage. Look at Calvin Gastelum. Calvin Gastelum, I'll tell you this. He was the biggest, probably, uh, revelation for me because, I well, mean. He was on he, twice. Yeah, and he was fantastic both times. He was Ways not I hate to say this, it sounds like a backhanded compliment, but he was way smarter than I would have imagined. He was like way, way smarter, way funnier, just quicker and um his taste, like he was I, I think we were talking about movies or something, and his taste was different than I would have imagined. He was a he was a Havalash to me. And well, I, I love Kelvin. I, I, I always have. I've known. I him always forever. loved his I've... fighting. I loved his fighting, but I didn't know what he was about. I didn't understood him as a human being. You know what I mean? Yeah. And I became. That's the thing about this show. Is like I can only imagine what it's like for the fans because me as a person interviewing, I got you. I got you. Became like even a way bigger fan of these guys than I could have ever imagined, because I really got you know. What's better than? Sharing a laugh with somebody, what's better to get to know somebody, you know? If you think about your sense. best friends, if you think about your best friends that you ever had in your life. You, you guys were cracking up. You met at a party where you cracked up over something. and Well, know. and also, what's the thing that you look forward to if you're like, oh, I'm going to see my old best friend and I'm flying off across the country and to see them. cut it up. What are you looking forward to? You're not looking forward to looking through albums and shedding tears or something like that. You, you're looking forward to laughing with that person. 
Yeah. Why do you love them so? Oh, I lie. We're caught. Are you? We always laughing. That's yeah, no, it. No, I've been trying to. I I, I want to book a. Um, I gotta reach out to my friend who lives up in San Francisco in uh, San Jose rather, because I miss seeing her. And I tried to book something a while ago, and we couldn't. And you know, when you have kids and you have jobs and whatever, and it's hard to to reach the timing. You know, to, you to, want to, me to call her? Create it. No, but that's I the whole miss point. Seeing her like, too. No, I need to see somebody that I know really well where we can just crack up and just like let loose and yeah. just goof off and yeah it's and your favorite you family member your favorite family members if you think about that whatever sibling you have cousin that's the whole yeah. thing like as soon as we get together all we're doing is, is that's all it is cracking up if you if you if you if you trace it all your favorite if you have a favorite parent i mean some yeah. people would never admit this but if you have a favorite child if you have a favorite old girlfriend or whatever friend from high school the the through line is which person did you share the most laughs with For it's sure. not which person did you sit there and philosophize with or whatever the fuck it is it's right. who did you laugh the most with for sure that's definitely it for me okay so here okay so let me show a couple more let's see um 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 um, um. let's see here okay oh wait whoops let me go over here uh okay so that I already showed that one. Okay, so the next one here. Okay, so then we had Cubby Swanch. <laughs> yeah. We had our Cubby boy Max Payne Griff, who's been on a bunch and who. Hopefully well, he's almost by. like a. He's almost like a, one of those people on a talk show or something that like is like a fixture, you know. Um, exactly. Almost Max like a, 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 a recurring character or like a, a guest star, a recurring guest star. Exactly, a recurring character. Yeah. Um, same with had, same with uh, Light Skin to Heart. She's the it, same. Exactly. We had Max yeah. Payne Griff. We, I mean, we had um Jan Bohovic. We had who was great. We had oh so, yeah. Uh, we had um uh, so Buckley. Never seen him so, like that either. Dude, the Bohovic episode is amazing. So Buckley is actually fighting this weekend. A lot of our guests are actually fighting this weekend. Like Drew Dober's yeah. fighting this weekend. Buckley's fighting this weekend. Razak yeah. uh, now Hassan is now fighting Buckley. This weekend. Buckley, I knew was going to be a character. Now, has Zach another person? Razak what a was fucking amazing. sweetheart! Zach Al Hassan was one yeah. of the best episodes. It was. He was hilarious. But here's the yeah. here's, here's light skin heart. Look at we had we actually had Jack Hermanson on. Oh yeah, um, yeah. We had look at there's Carlos Alberg. Hello, Chase. Oh Cooper. yeah, hey, what are you gonna? I can't even say nothing about Carlos Alberg. I mean, Carlos is fine. Yeah, okay, it, it, to hate on him would be to hating on myself. It's like I'm looking into a mirror. You know, like in the movie Twins, you know, if uh, Danny DeVich and right. and 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 Ar Arnold. Uh, but there's uh, Razak in the middle one on the bottom row. That's Razak. I see the middle one look like something else. That look like that don't look like Hazard. That look that like that was fucking, Mackenzie Dern. Uh, that looked like oh, okay, no, yeah. So, that looked like I want to eat her buttocks with uh, with the same uh, uh, salad dressing from. Wait, what did we talk about salad? Who are we talking about salad dressing with? Oh, um, I'm going to put some Marzatis on that one. Yeah, yeah I'm going to put some Marzatch. Oh, we have Mackenzie idea. Dern. Look at this. We had Rude Boy. We had we had um, Rocky Pennington. We had Gilbert. Oh, oh okay. Burns. So she's Look another had, revelation. Santiago Bontanibio, Mackenzie Dern, Ryan Let Beaton, me try you. Bell, Bellator champion, Jessica Penny, Razak Al Hassan, Pedro Munoz. Come on. I love Pedro Munoz. Now, let me tell you something. Uh, uh, Raquel Pennington is another one that was a heavily. Oh, yeah. Everybody loved her. First okay, of all, I love her anyway. Um, even though she has forsaken all men. She's uh, great. Now, the thing about her that was a heavily was, okay. first of all, she has seen. How's your oh, drink? Not, oh, shit. Oh, shit. I might have to hit frat. Hold on. I'm getting a little loose. I'm going to refresh myself in a second here, but Hakel Pennington is like, she, there's this thing among straight men like myself, yeah. where there's a, there's this tendency to assume that lesbians hate men. They don't. No, I'm talking about lesbians that strict lesbians that don't date men at all, that don't fuck, not bisexual. And there's this thing now to say they don't, there's some that's for sure do. Okay. But now, Hate is a strong word. Or is standoffish about men or whatever. There's just okay? some that just never want any part of Period. it. Period. And I understand. Fair enough. I don't give a shit. But at the same time, I've never seen her personality shine through 
in interviews oh, and stuff like that. She's... Yeah, she seems like a tough customer. She but seems like a tough. Maybe that's because I was here and we have a vibe. Oh, get out of here! Get out of town. So, so um, it, it, she seems like a tough nut to crack. Okay. Now she come on here. I've never seen a woman so attracted from your uncle Hanach. Maybe then uh, Mackenzie Dern, maybe. Okay, or a hose name unit. She was undressing me with her eyes. She was laughing at every stuff, and it seemed like she wanted to maybe to he think she wanted to take the baby from what's her name? Uh, her Tisha. She wanted to take the baby and kick uh, Tisha to the curb and to haze the baby with your uncle. Henry. I, don't I don't know if that's how it went. She wanted me to have the one in a baby Bjorn, God. I do. Uh, um, let so me see. Here, I was, here. I was shocked because from you that. say this, I want to, yeah. I want to give everybody an opportunity to, um, yeah, let them see for themselves. Here. This is what I was going to say here. I'm just trying to look at the, let me, let me hit fresh this drink while you're doing that. Yeah. 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 You go do that. I'm going to look and see Rocky Pennington. Sorry, folks. Um, my little system here is not. Um, Wait, your little sister? Who's that? My system. Oh. Here. Do you have I, a little sister? I do not have a little sister, but I have a system here where I. Um, <laughs> <laughs> if I had one, I would keep her far away from you. Now you. I, so I, I, that would make her want me even more. No, episode. Like all the rest of your friends and family. Do I don't know if that's true. All your There's, friends, all they can talk about. Okay, I would <laughs> I would let them if they really wanted you. I'd be like, well, how about it? I guess if you really want. If um, you want them to be happy. I don't know. I'm if like, you want them I'd to be, he like, How about it? But don't blame me. Here's some stuff we with were actually us with Rocky city. here. Look how cute go. she is. Though. You've been through the ringer a lot in the. A... I'm trying to find a good. I was heart kind heart. of playing off of her. Humility is a beautiful thing, no? So, <laughs> you know, uh, be someone you're in, like, you should watch it. Like the movies that the guy who made Yellow 2023, like, it. that's my thing. So, you need to get your butt out here to LA and we're going golfing. Um, yeah, okay. Maybe you could teach me, teach me how to shoot a straight ball. You just gotta keep your head back. Like, club with Amanda and them and mm -hmm. I had to go to the restroom and I came back and her and her friend were standing there. I don't know, Maybe. It, you know, this exactly what part here is amazing. But... Starting my sports psychology or just like the. There's a part me, where you know, we made heart. a bet, especially if you look like Hakel, can you imagine that child looking like half you and half of me? Good oh, God, are you see? And he has look like that, that hair that it looked like a Native American or whatever. Oh, poor, huh? <laughs> you know, and it can fit in with the vibe. You having Carla Hot, or you know what I mean? You would be like, hooked. It would have you wrapped around its finger. <sighs> yeah. Oh, you mean it would have me wrapped around the yeah, finger? It wouldn't be just get in and get out. Oh, just God. Get in and fall in love. Well, you because would. it looked half like you. You're not, you you, you're not just whistling Dixie, poor, huh? <laughs> I mean, oh, well, it, it, wait, she saying, left. I, you wait, do she was enchanted. Oh, oh, there, oh, there, 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 there you are. There you are. Like, she uh, was enchanted from Oh, that she's one. playing games. Now she's that playing hard to catch. Have on. You no, know, like, like, like wow. you literally carpet bomb every single person that we Well, the carpet. <laughs> the carpet mantra. Uh, DD uh, says they never saw Rocky smile like that. Don't encourage me. Never you. in life. She was the thought of being with me instead in the uh, up in the, the the hockey mountain. She was on a hockey mountain high. Boy. I mean, I don't know. Look at I'm. Let me look at some of these these. Just imagine ha Hakel was imagining. Imagine me and she is a missionary or whatever, and I'm lean down to kiss, and she goes like this. Mm -hmm, God, are you? <laughs> and you know what? I'm dressed like a Native American. I'm just in turquoise jewelry. God, are you? <laughs> Uh -huh. I have one of those choker, you know. Oh God, are you? Uh huh, uh huh. Um, let's see. And I have a feather earring, and the feather ear when I lean over her, it go like this. Boom! It go like this. It tickle her and go like this. <laughs> oh my God! <laughs> That's more fun than with uh, her wifey, God, are you? At oh. least it's something different, you know. God. It's something unique. Oh God. Mm. Um. 
I just, I'm looking at some of these comments and some of these are a little bit, um, what his gay, maybe off some color, of them, but, uh, Let's see. uh, uh, <laughs> beige don't age. <laughs> Oh my God, Poha. I like that. I like that. Beige that beige, beige don't age. But you're oh right, though, uh, Hasperger's Buckley was a recent yeah. great guest. He was, he was a lot of fun. Now, now, now okay. He I, stayed I'll put, for like the entire three yeah. hours or something. I'm going to be honest, okay? Now, I didn't think he would have a lack of personality, but I thought uh -huh. that there was a big, big, I thought there was a very good chance that he was going to be an asshole. Okay. Okay, and I thought that he might be one of those people that's gonna want to butt heads with your uncle Hanach, you know. Okay. And as a pleasant surprise, he, he was a fucking great guest, and he was he was hiding there in the pocket and having fun, you know. But you just never fucking know, you know. Yeah, you never know. Actually, um, he was good, and it's funny because, um, and I think on this one too, because I remember when I said to him, Ooh. I was like, oh, "Okay, when you come on." hang out and i was like hey whatever <laughs> and he was like i was like stay as long as you want and he was like okay so he stayed God, as long you. as he wanted I, I it, but I can't he do stayed for like a really long and like time. it's easy for me to say that you know i'm trying, to, I'm trying wait to is it just me or do i look incredible is it because it was summertime or something why do i look so uh, i mean so i think i look delicious yeah, you know what's funny? I should take a look you know, over there. I you have the sun, and hopefully, as it already seems like you're involved with him since you guys are going to go on these trips and everything. Do you know how uh, loud but what is? else? Are you a gamer? Do I know what? That shit is loud, and a mother. I mean, is my eardrum blowing out on that one? Sorry. No, it's okay. I hope it's not like that for the. Anyway, guests. yeah, I'm just saying. Or for the, Joaquin the was fan. a great guest as well. Why can't? How, how come we never have uh, Joaquin Phoenix on here? I wish. He's probably a fan of the show. We never know. What's your favorite Joaquin Phoenix movie? Oh, my goodness gracious. Okay, so this isn't my favorite movie to watch, but I think the performance of his that mystified me the most and stuck with me and, like, haunted me was in that movie, The Master. Did you ever saw that one? It, it, it's a Paul Thomas Anderson movie about... I probably did. It, it's where... It's where... It's where... Um, it's loosely based on uh, uh, on um, Elhan Hubbard. It's like um, um, uh, what's the guy who died? Uh, Philip Seymour Hoff, uh, uh -huh. Hoffman played a character that's supposed to be like Elhan Hubbard, okay? And he's creating Scientology, like in the what is it, like in the early seventies, fifties or something? No, it was even like it was after. It was like somewhere in the fifties or something. He was first, first starting like to, to figure it out, you know, starting to experiment with his philosophies and shit. And his guinea pig is this like this veteran with P PTSD, played by Joaquin Phoenix, and he's like a feral animal, you know. And he's like the the relationship between the two of these fucking guys, and the acting that these two guys is doing is as good as anything I've ever seen. And some might say like the movie, like I wouldn't recommend it to everybody. I wouldn't be like, oh, you gotta see it. it's a crowd pleaser. Right. But some, for some weird, he's it's very heavy, very depressing, very long, very wordy. But at the same time, there's very few movies I could count on one hand, movies that I saw when I saw them, I watched it again the very next day. Yeah. Very few movies I could say, and that's one of them. And I don't, I can't even tell you why, but there's something about it draws me to it, and I, I'm mystified by it. I don't know why. That's fair. Not that okay. he, I mean, and Joaquin has done, uh, I don't know how many. Look at, I'm the biggest Joaquin fan yeah. on the planet. So well, see the master. If you have not seen me, the like, master, I'll watch Joaquin Phoenix in anything, even in a shitty movie. Up groceries. Yeah. <laughs> even in okay, a movie, I'm this in. is not a shitty movie, but this is a Hollywood movie, Gladiator. Now, that part that he played in that, you could have seen any number of people play that, and it would have been like a normal villainous hall. Right. You put him he in He played it? that character with so much uh, nuance, you know, to where I remember there's this part where he walks out to, to, to confront, what's his name, in the Coliseum, you know? Yeah. 
And you can see while he's walking out, he looks self-conscious or whatever. And it was such an interesting choice that it was a layer of a that put on a villain where you saw his frailty and his his insecurity and stuff that you just don't normally see that. Like he he's giving you more than you deserve. You know what I mean? I was mean? just gonna say I feel like Joaquin Phoenix is so gifted at playing inner monologue and letting mm. you understand. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? I feel like yeah. without it being, you know, like patronizing of like, I'm thinking this and I'm going to do that. But like it's there and it's in it. And it, it, it he still does make you think, but I feel like that's what, like, literally his role in To Die For is oh, that was the unbelie- unbelievable. That was the first I time I noticed how special he was. Yeah, I'm thinking he was yeah. the sexiest thing on the planet, and I know he's <laughs> interesting. Like a high school now kid I didn't weird. I didn't thought that, but I felt I thought he was the sexiest yeah. thing ever, and I still oh, interesting. love him in that. Um, interesting, even though that's means that's. That's, that's look. Don't get into the psychology of that. It's whatever. kind of problematic. Listen, but listen. You, under, let's just say you I feel the Nicole way you Kidman. feel. Let's just say I understood Nicole Kidman. And and uh, I didn't have that feeling about him, but I had the feeling that I both did. of those kids, but especially him, I was like, these young kids I've is special. I thought actors. he was sexy. I've always Interesting. thought. I've and always I've heard this Joaquin before. Was sexy. I've heard this from, before from people, but um, that is always. definitely not the norm, you know, because he's not traditionally. I obviously, his have. brother, his brother would have been the one that is like yeah, that. River, Everybody whatever. like that. One. I've always thought Joaquin was sexy. Yeah, but I think he's. I think he's. 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 Uh, whatever he does as an actor is, is because is, he has is, depth. Incredible. And you can tell. Yeah. Well, and also he's he's like opening himself up to a. Here's why he's so exciting, and what why artists of any kind like him is exciting, is he doesn't know what he's gonna do. Yeah, that's true. So how can you know what he's gonna do? And that's what makes comedians funny, is the unexpected. So if 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 an artist is surprising themselves. Well, you double gonna be surprised. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, you're right. I do feel like yeah. he lives in the moment and like with Joker and all that kind of and stuff. And it's hard like, to do. Like it's hard to lives... do because it's a gamble. If you to be that's a daring place to be, where you don't have it mapped out exactly what you're gonna do. You know? Agreed. Uh, Agreed. Because there's no safety net. Agreed. Agreed. Well, so here's some more guests that we had, and we had Cheeto Vera. Um, oh, we, another we fucking Demetrius, one. We had Demetrius. We had Alan Joban. We had a we had a memorial for our boy. Um, you know, listen, bless oh. up. Because Rumble, humble, so we humble, had, John, humble Johnson. Yeah, so we had Tyrone Spong on for the Rumble Johnson. <laughs> Tyrone Spong. Oh, yeah, we, that was very Spong. sad. So listen, we, we love also you. had Alir Latifi was on. Listen, we've had Josh Barnett on for two different Halloween <laughs> episodes. Well, so he's Halloween he's the standby. He's an odd stamp. You gotta have. We gotta check Josh out for Halloween episodes. But look at we had Dustin Jaka Jaka Jaka. Oh yeah, the hunt. Jaha, uh, the hunt. Jaha or whatever. Kobe. Jaha, Jaha Kobe. Jaka Kobe. Uh, Kiesa. <laughs> we had on Neil Magny. Look at. There's more, but wait, there's more. Kiesa the was another one that was that was a lot more uh, jovial than I expect. Who was? Kiesa. Kiesa is a lovely guy. Look at I and I. No, no, I know that. I I just didn't. I, I, you know, um, there's a few people out there that do not like me. You know, like like that, uh, and really? that's being kind. Oh, uh, to, for instance, uh, your boy Dominic Cruz. That guy hate fucking hates me. Well, you know? but Dominic's. No, no, I know he's a prickly pear anyway, but he but is a tr- but he's a tricky guy to get. But to. there's a few there's a few people that hate me to the point where. Like if I see them, they want to try to fight me or something like that. Like there's certain, not him, but there's certain. Really, I've been in those situations. I'm not gonna name names, but there's people who want, who have wanted to fist the cops at me. Um, for some reason, I never got the idea that Kiasa liked me. You know what I mean? I don't know. I had it in my mind that he didn't like me. Um, that kid. Um, and then when I met him on the show, he couldn't have been more fun and sweet I and everything that like that. So. It was great, and and I love being uh, hung about somebody, you know. Well, I love that kid, and I met Kiesa yeah. at 
the media day for the ultimate fighter way back when so we go way back and so to me to be sitting at the desk with him like we geek out on it and well, we crack up that we've known each other that long and yeah. i love that kid like i freaking love that kid i freaking love i was him. a fan of him from the start though because i'm the chap guy that likes underdog and especially yeah. people who've been through grief and i'm a sucker for the fact that he lost his pops and all yeah. that shit so well, we I was, bonded over that because I, I, I lost mine too. Yeah. So we bonded over the missing, the missing dads. So look yeah. at we got a donation here uh, from Power Structure Dollar Nine Nine Six. Remember, Phoenix got oh, canceled God, I... a Letterman's desk. Oh yeah, yeah, because he did he it. Spray painted it. Well, he also just did a. He did. He, you know, there's a little bit of um um. Uh, what's his name andy kaufman in in, in right. joaquin because he liked to he liked to troll a bit before it was played out you know what i mean he liked to well troll. that whole character thing that he did which is genius and here's the fucked up thing about that is it got leaked that it was a, a, a it was a troll job you know and that fucked up the movie because a lot of people they did they played it so straight that that document was everybody thought it was gonna think it was heel and then he got fucked up because people let out the cat out the bag that it was phony well here's what i heard though him speaking on a different podcast yeah. he spoke on a podcast and he was saying though after that documentary came out he actually had a hard time getting work because true, true. a lot yeah, of people, yeah, people still really thought he was crazy it, yeah yeah and yeah true it messed up it messed that is up true. a lot of work for him that is true but also as a piece of love art, him, it got fucked up because personally, I love him. when I uh, know, but personally, when I saw the 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 uh, trailer for that, I was like, oh my god, he's unhinged, and I was like, I can't wait. Totally. And then I heard through the grapevine that it was bullshit, and he right. fucking bummed me out because I couldn't get lost in it when I watched it, and I was like, God, I wish this was healed. <laughs> you know what I mean? Or at least I wish I thought it was healed. You know? Yeah. But yeah. still, nevertheless, as a piece of art, she's kind of a genius. Um, oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Listen, listen. I appreciate that, um, uh, um, uh, but, you know, um, she's dead to me now. Honda Housie is dead to me now that she was married, that Hawaiian, uh, and she had her babies with that guy. So, you know, whatever we have is, you know, Gotcha. Well, Whatever we have, we have, Luke, okay, we have Lupe Godinez. We had Alex and Hernandez. Lupe, oh, my God. We had Lupe, Lupe is another one. Why is Brian it? Battle, what's we the had Angela uh, Hill. We had we had on um, Dan Ige. Look, we had Ro Michael Johnson. We had Wait, on Danny, Dan is gay? Danny is gay? The is Dirty gay? Bird. The Dirty Bird just picked up five. He's another one. Okay, ago. first of all, he beat a tough customer. But he's another one. You ever seen the Dirty Bird not look like he was fucking upset and, and serious right? and shit like that? The and he looked like he was, was having a great time. up with us. Yeah, the Dirty Bird. Um, but what's that? What is it with, like, uh, Gohadinas, you know, uh, Loopy and stuff like that? Like, She's what's so the... Cute. Why is the he current theme, like, I just figured it out, that the... the, the um, there's like this through line of our past guests. It's like for some reason, if you think about it, all the ones that was attracted to me and undressing me with the eyes happen to be the female guests that we have. Mm. Were they undressing you? Or there was like uh, 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 wiggling you their might legs be together, just imagining that, hopping their legs together like a cricket. You might be just imagining that. <laughs> I, I doubt it, but you know, ask the ask the fans. They see it. Let's see. What, go to the video tape. Go to the fans. <laughs> Let's go to the video tape. Hey, but look Ooh. at first and foremost. I want to Stacy Blessing with Stacey a nineteen ninety nine. Thank you, nineteen ninety nine for a super sticker. Thank you. Oh, so much. Uh, uh, Omega, whatever is that one? You hide the one underneath. We got I'm the hide idea. That. Why not? I'm not what do you have to lose? Sorry. One day, listen. This isn't bad. I mean. Oh God! So. Wait, hold on, hold on now. Let's examine this. That looked like a maple. Like you just poured maple syrup on that one. That looked like a Mrs. Butterworth. That you know who it also looked like Aunt Jehema. Jehema. Je Je that looked like Aunt Jehema. 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 I would like to put. I can't. Oh God! I, I can't believe that the one is not butter. It's not butter. I can't believe it's not. Butter. No, you know what I'm gonna smear in the middle of that one. Country crack. 
Uh-huh. Country cock, crock. I will, I'll country. give you a, <laughs> I'll give you a crock, but it's from my country. Hey, Hernando, yeah. I was what? mentioning this uh, before you jumped on the show, and I'm gonna jump your bones. I'm something. curious what your take is on it. Because nah. I feel like maybe you've done this, and I want to show a couple more things, but uh oh. <laughs> Wait, just show your nipple. You don't have to show the whole jitties. Just show the nipple. Recently, yeah. and I and I'm seeing the other day. I made a joke somewhere out in public, oh, God. and I cracked up a total stranger, hmm. and it felt very good to me. Like I I love that. Like to me, it was fun. Oh. Like, don't you love that when you're like in line at a store, like and yeah. you get and you're like, and you crack somebody up, and like because I literally woke up the yeah. next day and I thought about it again. I was like, ah. I was like, that was really funny. It, it, it is and so it fun. And it makes me happy yeah. to think that that person then is also still going, damn, I, that that was funny today. Like, I Absolutely. something so stupid, Interactions makes with, me happy. You know what? I tell you what. So I agree with you so fucking much. And I noticed this today because before I came back for to do this here, I was t- taking my dog on a quick walk, okay? Yeah. It's like the sun was going down. And every dog that we interacted with, and now because she's so old, she's 16, yeah. there's this thing that happens where people are like, oh, you know what I mean? Oh, and we get into conversation, stuff like that. I actually bumped into a Brazilian girl too, and a chick from Estonia. But anyway, okay. n- n- never mind that. that but, I was just going to say, okay, you got to go. <laughs> we'll wrap this up. No, 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 no. <laughs> but, but the thing is, is like... Um, I had these moments with these doggies, like not all the doggies, but a handful of the doggies where they like give me a kiss and I like pet them and I look into their eyes and they look into my eyes. I could almost get emotional from this, just thinking about this. And the thought, uh, there's no other experience like that in life. Like, like a stranger, this dog is a complete stranger and we hugging and patting and looking each other deep in the eyes and letting each other touch and kiss and and it's like a feeling of community and of love and uh, 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 and it's almost like it's like the closest thing to oneness to nirvana to god to whatever the fuck you want to call it and for some he's in the experience of that with another human being is few and far between but for a doggy I experience that almost on a daily basis, you know, uh, from a strange doggy because I'm open to that stuff. Nice. And and so I understand when you have those little glimpses of that with somebody in line or whatever it may be, right. it's like you're touching upon the divine. You know, the what what is the opposite of evil, you know, it's like we together. We yeah, on the like same I page. I literally cracked yeah. a joke and I cracked somebody up to because they didn't expect it either. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, the setting wasn't yeah. there. It wasn't it <laughs> yeah, didn't yeah, seem yeah. like you would ever expect yeah. it. And then all of a sudden this thing comes out and they were like, oh my God. Yeah. They're like, that's amazing. And it was funny because I, f- I was so proud to have done it. You know what I mean? Yep. I was, you know what I mean? Because I'm a and performer it's because the, still. I'm, you a, know what? I'm a performer yeah. and I'm a friggin' slave to a fucking a excuse me, but applause, like I'm a yeah, slave yeah, yeah. to it. I, I, I can't help yeah. it. I want it. That's I okay. I seek it. I love it. And if well, I that's know because that's that what you do. Killed, that's your gift. I, that's you. You have I a gift at that. And you just showed me that I killed. I love that. Yeah. You feel like you're in the pocket. You feel like you're doing what you're supposed to be doing. Yeah. Right. I'm like, I understand. And see. Like, you know I'll tell you my like favorite you version. Like you killed it. You're like, I got to just go home now. I, just, I, 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 my favorite version of that. And that's another thing that I can probably count on one hand, but through the years, the feeling of, I don't know if you've ever did this, but to bring the house down at a movie theater <laughs> with a comment, like with a loud comment, because you're taking a very big hiss because sometimes oh, yeah. that person is such an asshole and such a right, boo, right, right, right. shut the fuck up. But if you can shout out a comment, like the spirit move you like you in church, you shout and out a comment and the fucking whole theater just fucking explode. I don't know if there's a better feeling of that because it was it was unplanned and it was you just took a chance. Um, and 
I remember there was one. It's happened a few times, but the one that stick out is just it was it was. You ever seen that? It's not a he boot exactly, but you know the one that's just called Hockey Balboa. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's like the hockey movie when he's old and shit. Yeah. There's <laughs> there's this heartfelt speech where he's trying to get oh, his no. um, license to 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 uh, box again. You know, he's oh, like, no. I don't even feel like you do. And it's this long, it's like must be a 20 page fucking monologue to the oh, commission. Shit. And everybody's sitting there and you can feel a pin drop or whatever. And he's about, and, and you don't know what's going to happen. And he's just said the last thing of that speech. And they oh, go, no. Hurry, Rico! like that. And the fucking packed theater just, just lost it in, 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 and was, was laughing hysterically and clapping and everything. And it was like, I was like, I just piggybacked on him and b- tore the hoof off of that fucking place. It was like as if everybody was feeling the same thing. I was like, All right, yeah. And then they fuck it. I mean, and it was, it but was, what did you it say? Was, I said, okay, just like you ever seen Eddie Murphy, uh, Eddie Murphy Hall. When it's like, he was like the Italian guy, like, all right, Rocco. You know what I mean? That whole thing. And it, I said, all right, Rocco, you know, like that. But it oh, was, God. I said it like him and like a fucking drunk almost. And just at the top, of my, when it was pure dead silence, like the, the tension had built to a, like a, what's going to happen, you know? Right, and it was like, right, like that. And everybody just went, Boom, like the fucking place like I've uh, like just it's the hoof blew off the fucking place. And it could have such a great feeling. I, I could have said that and heard crickets. You know what I mean? Such a great feeling though. So I let it out. I took the chance to let out how I felt. Having people go, boo, fuck you, you right. know what I mean? And instead they all felt the same way. And boy oh boy, was it exciting, you know. I remember one that I didn't do, but I'll never forget it. I don't know why. Uh, and I don't know why now it might not even seem that funny. Now it ain't gonna even be that funny, but it blew the hoof off of this one. You remember that movie, The Abyss? Of course, I love it. Ed Harris. So there was a part. Mary it was a part. Elizabeth Master Antonio. They're underwater. Yeah, exactly. And she, how thing. sexy is she, by the way? How sexy is that woman? This distance. Yeah, exactly. So there's the part where he takes the chance to go down deep to save everybody. Like he's got to like disarm the fucking nuclear thing or whatever. Yeah. And he's going deeper than anyone has ever win or whatever. And, and they don't think he's going to make it. And, it, and, and the thing is fucking up. And they, they deeper than anybody else. And now he gone. can't speak because that fluid is in his lungs or whatever. So he has to type or whatever. And yeah. then at one point he's like, B- B- B-, they're like, what do you see? What do you see? And they we hang it on. A, they have a, a fluid. They taught first they show a mouse. And exactly. They, they drown a mouse and all yeah. of a sudden the mouse can actually bleed, breathe in the fluid. It's like amniotic so it takes a fluid. Where you're panicking, but then all yeah. of a sudden you can actually breathe in water. Exactly. It's like amniotic fluid, like in the yeah. in the womb or whatever. Yeah, it's, okay, it's so it's kind of syrupy and yeah. So so he's in the depths or whatever, and and, and the suit is like kind of cracking, and he can't, and, and and they don't know he's gonna. They think he's gonna die. It's all cheer, you know. Everybody's on the uh, and then and then it's like, what do you see? And he's like, and he's waiting, waiting. They they think he's dead, and he's like, a light, and then you know, it's like, what kind of light? What kind of light? And and you know, the guy, the character's name was Bud, you know, Bud mm-hmm. something or whatever. And then some guy at the top of his lungs, and this was in New York, the guy goes, Bud Light! Or whatever. <laughs> and then everybody, everybody, for some reason, me too, we all just started dying laughing. And it was like the guy, the, he got the whole fucking audience, just to, brought them to their knees off that stupid comment like that. And it's funny because this guy may or may not even remember ever doing that, but I'll never forget it. And so how many years... Know what was that 89 or some shit like that you know what i mean uh, i'll never forget that moment so it's funny those those moments in them of these strangers in these public settings like this you know yeah it's funny and I, I love when i when i'm able to do it and uh yeah like crack somebody up i've done that before where i've i've had a comment um yeah at a movie or something <laughs> and it's a zinger like i did that once at a concert and it was great because this this performer who whatever whatever I don't know whatever I, his name's Glenn Hansard. Uh-oh. I like I Ooh, like, Glenn Hansard. No, I'm kidding. 
He's Glenn the Fry. If you've ever seen the movie once, and it's about this folk singer, this Irish folk singer, blah 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 blah. Anyway, we've talked about this before, but I I've never seen the movie. I yeah, yeah, it. yeah. I absolutely you've love mentioned it. it. Anyway, yeah. long story short, he was playing a show downtown L.A. And he and he played this one song, and he's just amazing. And I literally, I just yelled out in it. I was like, "You are so good," you know what I mean. And then oh. he responded to it. Oh, and so there well, was that, like this moment that. in the show, and it turned into yeah, yeah, like yeah, this yeah. moment in the show. Well, and then shit. Later on, that's I, even I better. I found it on YouTube because somebody yeah. recorded it, and so oh, to wow. me, it's fun to have the moment. Of course, because I'm like, oh, that's me. Well, having this moment yeah. with this person and it and it ended up sort of like fueling a funny little moment yeah. you know that it, might it, have changed the complexion of the show you know right. that's even better than what i'm talking about that would be like as if they was performing a play of 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 hockey balboa and 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 stallone was like hey not too shabby you know what yeah, i mean mine like was in real time yeah. right and so i had no, an that's, effect that's, on that's what came after but as a yeah. performer myself as i'd like to believe myself to be I I felt like it felt very organic to me to like yell it out, but I'm also a person who's been to so many concerts that I'm like I don't want to be that obnoxious the asshole yeah. person. But yeah. it it was after something that I loved well, so much, and it and it ended up being really great. Well, you're not an asshole if you do that because you're saying something positive. It's different than than like if you if, if you're watching a comedian and you fucking keep can't keep your fucking mouth shut. Then you're right. an asshole, you know what I mean? Right. But uh, right. at a show like that, if you're like, we love you, or I love you, or you're great, or whatever the fuck it is, I don't think that anybody's complaining about that. You know? Right. Okay, well, speaking of speaking of comedians and speaking of things that make us laugh, Uh-oh. Do, you re- do you remember the time when we first fell in love? <laughs> I'm t- I feel like I'm doing the Michael Jackson... Do you remember the time? The fucking uh, Eddie Marf in that video. Do you remember and the Iman. time? I do remember the time. Now get on with it. What are, what are we looking at here? Yeah. Oh, remember look at me there. Oh, this God. question way back when. Would you have sex? <laughs> oh my God. Wait, no, I don't remember that. Okay, what did I say? What, what happened? Here? Way back when, Hanato, we used to ask some questions of our fans, and this is one that we had posed. Oh no! Would you I don't have remember sex this with one. Your best friend just saved their life. Now, what what became of that? I don't know. We just asked. Oh, it you on don't. The episode. Oh, uh, and, and you don't remember what? I don't know what I would have said. What would I say now? Oh fuck! <laughs> I, okay, oh, okay. You know what I probably said because this is how I feel. I would say the answer would have to be yes. It would have to be yes. <laughs> of course. Otherwise, you're a piece of shit. You're not going to save your friend's life. Otherwise, that's not your best friend. However, I think that the degree to which is like t- pure torture versus there's levels to it, okay? I think that... It, Obviously, if I'm talking about a male friend, we're going to assume it's a male friend. Okay, for me, that's going to be hard. It's exponentially harder if I'm the catcher and not the pitcher. Right. If I'm the one getting the blood jobby and I'm the one delivering the salam, providing the salami and whatever, yeah, it sucks. But how much worse is it if but it's it the other way around? Right, yeah. I'm not sure. But it, it, how much worse is it the other way around? You know what I mean? It, it's like it's like a bazillion times worse the other way around. You know, for me. So if 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 there could be a caveat where I can be the pitcher or I can be the I can be like the chop, as they say, you know, then I'm gonna be a lot. I'm gonna it, it's gonna take a lot less years off my life. You know what I mean? That's at least that's the way I look at it. I hear you on that. I, I mean, how you that. feel about that one? I mean, yeah, I guess I mean, if it's you guys, you just scissor fucking anyway. I was just gonna you. say, I feel like a lot of time guys feel like girls could do that all the time anyway, and it's not a big deal. Um, well, you're not getting like penetrated by something. I mean, you can be, but nothing, you know, like. Yeah, it's a little bit. It's of kind a... of more innocuous. It's a little less. It's a little lighter. It's like light beer. Like what yeah, we're doing is a... like Jaeger master shots or something. <laughs> it's it's like drinking boilermakers. 
You guys, that's like drinking a Zima or something like that, you know? Okay, so I want to show something that this made me laugh <laughs> so much. Um, this is something if people remember back on this episode, uh, and it will again, I'm sure, make me almost want to wet my pants. But this Wait. is, <laughs> I was doing a thing with some of my favorite memes, and... <laughs> Oh my god, I forgot about that. You're gonna go to hell. You know, you should never make fun of someone like that. Poor poor guy. That's the leader of the free world, poor. How dare you? With his yamaka and everything. You're an anti Semite. Oh, wait, no, that's not what I meant. You're an anti Semite. You're Dude. making fun of him just because he has that collar. <laughs> and also, you know what's a trip? You know what's a trip about this? That it all stemmed from J Jesus Christ. And it's like, since when did Jesus like have anything to do with any dressing like that? You would think that they would all just emulate dressing like him, like have a long beard, look like a Hastafarian, like a white Hastafari or some shit. And it's like, when did this become what he was talking about? I'm totally going to hell, but that makes me laugh so freaking hard, like so freaking hard. How fuck? How fucking dare you? Oh my god. I, I hope you got your. I, I hope you got your house. And I. I hope you burn in hell for that. I'm fucking believable. To, to be honest, it's a good thing. It can spray up to. I can't get behind that. Hey, no, Hanach. That's too far. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I dropped my glasses. Hanach. Here's something else I wanted to show you before I mean we could we can start okay. wrapping this up soon. Here's something else I wanted to show you though. Um uh uh remember this classic? Hold on a second. Da 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 Do you remember do you remember this classic? Look how good we look. This was not long, this was the week after the coronation. Ah, uh, look at that. We look regal. We look very regal. Oh god, we I look, look like really a, good there. That like, is like, actually I, uh, our natural uh, habitat. You know what? I look like a bottle of Crown Royal. I look good enough to drink. And I you, look you look like a trophy wife. This. You look like I just keep you a hound to, 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 to have it whenever I feel like it. But that looks like I'm pretty content, actually. You are content because my age wants them. Yeah, because you don't last that long. You're old. Be like no, no. Because my staff, it, it, what is it? A royal staff? You know, the, uh, the staff of Amun Ha or whatever. You're old. It, it takes you like... <laughs> 45 I'm seconds, it's, you're, too, you're too pump chump, and then I'm good. No, I'm, I'm, I'm seasoned to perfection, <laughs> that's the, the, the thing about it. I My drones have been there and there. did that. To be honest, you're too, My, it's two pumps, you're done. I go nah, about my business. I don't even know you wish. There. I go back to my drones and have been through so much. My drones and have been through so fucking much. It's not even funny. It's callous. There's callous on the that's bottom funny. of that one. A sad, there's a, a callus on. It's a there's a callus on that one. My Johnson heavy athlete feet on there. It's a impervious. It's a sense of desensitized. <laughs> My Johnson have been this. It's been there. It's <laughs> done. It's seen that. And it's been there, seen that, done that. Yeah. Nice, nice, nice. It's jaded. Well, Hanato, has there been and and I, you know. Was looking at some things, and I think I have some other old clips or whatever. But like, were you crying there? You went. <laughs> no. You said Hanato. My been... nose is tingly from my champagne. My champagne. Your vagina is tingling too, like with your spider son. 
Has there been, have there been any, any of your favorite guests or memorable moments you want to, you know, like I said, as we start winding it down, is there anything you want to? I'll tell you what, if I had to, if if I had to take highlight, I'll tell you this. Okay. There's two stuff. As far as a general thing with you, whenever you fucking snarch, I always like it because you, it's like, you can't, no matter what you do or no matter how much you don't want to, you, 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 cause of course you don't want to snort. I don't, so but I when you're it, snorting, it's real, it's real. It's like one of those things, like you said about Joaquin, it's like, he can't plan that. So when a moment like that happened, I laughed to myself cause I look at her fucking snort over there. You know what I mean? And then, so that's one fun thing having to do with the co-host. When it comes to guests, I have to say, for some reason, the host Nami Yunus one, the way she was so receptive to every angle of bullshit and fun, um, and even when I trap her, because she's smart, but then I would trap her in like a thing to admit that she wants to like go to Hillside, Hillshire, so she wants to kill Bob, right, you know, like I'll take part. her down the print, lead her down the primhose path and then fuck her up, like lead her into a brick wall. You know what I mean? And it, it was a joy because I feel like that interview had everything, you know, it had the boyfriend there or the husband there. It had her preparing for a camp, her trying to eat while she's doing it. And just every stupid thing that could happen. I th- I feel like that was like, probably the, the interview that gave me the most joy. I would agree that was pretty special. And yeah, like you said, it was a little bit of everything. It was talking and then them cooking like beans and rice or something. I don't even dinner. remember what the fuck she was eating. Yeah, but it was, yeah. No, yeah. I loved it. And she's great. And yeah, that was a lot of fun. And that was early on. It hit everything. It hit all the categories yeah, it was of anything great. you could want. Yeah. It was pretty great. And like, yeah, we've just had... You know, a lot of it's been it's been fun because and I say it over and over and I sound, you know, like a broken record ever, but I take pride in the fact that when people are on with us, they're different than when they are on with other people, you know, and we definitely get a different side of people. And um, I do think that we have more fun with folks like. I just, the, I, I, and I, I don't, it's not, question. I, I, like, I know it for a fact. Like, I know, I without know, question. I know people have more fun with us. Yes. There's, there's, there's no debating that. There, there's no debate. The proof is on the pudding. You can see it. Right. right. You know, because right. you, you can see someone that's n- n- not so much as cracked a smile before in public, you know? <laughs> right. You know? Exactly. There have been oh, people, I can't. Look at DD here, right there, normal or now. That's what I was gonna say. Here, hold on. I can show you oh, this. Yeah. Do you guys remember? I can. Oh, I can, totally I can say something true. Right I can say something true about this. Speaking of no more now, um, one thing that is one of my greatest, greatest joy, which almost never happened, but it happened uh, here and there, is when we would ask the fucking fans to ask us genuine questions. And yeah. we answered them and helped them with genuine problems. For some reason, whenever we gave them the opportunity to do that, very few people took advantage of that. But when we was able to have like a genuine conversation, maybe help someone with a problem that they had, I loved that and I wanted to do more. But people didn't took it serious. You know, they 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 just didn't take us up on the on the offer enough. You know. Well, yeah, I don't. You know, know what I'm talking think- about. Yes, like I where do. we would say not, this episode, nice we want when... your problems. Like let let's let's help you with you dating problems or whatever it may be. And every once in a while, someone gave us a serious one that they were struggling with, and we actually was able to help somebody. Yeah. That was one of my favorite stuff. But it, it is so often people we would ask, and like you get like crickets, and you're like, okay, nobody want help or whatever. But when when someone has something, I I love that. Yeah, no, I agree with you that. Um that it was a thing and i don't know why i'm looking for it here and i'm like i see it and then i don't know why i can't click on it but like 
Yeah, no, I agree. It was always good to be able to um, address like real questions and yeah, like um, someone's and, insecure about something, and we make them feel better about it, or look at it in a different way, or give them yeah. some kind of confidence, or make them feel like, oh, by the way, we've been through that same embarrassment or shortcomings or whatever the fuck it may be, you know? Yeah. And and that's one of my favorite favorite stuff well, to do in, the in, meantime, ge in general. We we did have this as well, um, e you know, um, emotional rescue. Um, oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. To help out when people, yeah, when you don't, it's kind of along that same lines where you don't know what to do if you're writing to somebody and you're dating somebody or whatever, and you don't know like they say something to you, you're like, bruh, I have no idea what to say. How to, uh, or also how to decode what the fuck they trying to yeah. say. Yeah, like what the hell does also, that mean? One of my other favorite stuffs is when there's a movie that both of us like. Here like it is, Case normal in, or now. Yeah, case in point, uh, Goodfellas. Like we've had so many conversations about Goodfellas that it's fun, always fun to talk about a certain movie with someone that knows it as much as you know it, you know? Exactly, yeah, no, I mean, please, Goodfellas. It's so funny. Which because... is a through line with all friends that I have, most of my great friends, we got movies that we've, we could, we, we could speak in a language of just movies I where no one you. would know what we were talking about. I agree you know? with you. It's a shorthand. Uh, it's a shorthand. Yeah. And it's funny because it's funny that you say that because somebody had mentioned on Twitter, somebody, I still do use Twitter. I still, I know it's dead, but whatever. <laughs> um, <laughs> I'm hanging on because I never, did you see the shit that just came out recently? No that there's there's back and forth with him and this fucking um this like neo nazi guy or whatever where they actually uh uh talked about him buying it so that he can destroy it have you seen that they, no i no. mean this is a heel thing this isn't a uh, conspiracy theory. like he specifically he it. bought it to just to destroy he it did. on purpose and he did do that yeah and he is whatever but anyway but i'm just saying so this is not threads. a i've yeah. never used threads have you used it I have, yeah, yeah. I promoted this show on there. Yeah. Do people actually are people on it? Some. I mean, I have like ten thousand followers or something like I've that. I've never looked know. at it at all. I don't know. Well, it is what. It Whatever. Is. Anyway, I do still play play over on Twitter, and it's stupid because I know I'm talking to nobody. But whatever. Um, well, <laughs> he wants you to talk to nobody. Like it's funny because you think like like people was making fun like ah he he's fucking up or whatever. He meant to fuck it up. Want to ruin it, right? Well, he succeeded. I mean, it, it, there's 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 back and forth about that. Well, and that yeah, was the and plan. it's obvious too because then they keep saying things like, "Oh, he's gonna charge you to use it." It's like, well, obviously, I'm leaving then as soon as you yeah. charge me. Like, I'm out. L literally, to to like the plan was to achieve so much that he was that the guy who was instructing him what to do was like, "Do this, 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 and this," and then you all the liberals that are on there will voluntarily uh leave. uh leave but here's the thing what i guess what's the point of i mean i maybe he just needed to launder some money what's because it, no no because it well i don't know about that for him but for the idea is is it's a very 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 powerful uh tool sure. and if you can if you can if you can destroy a tool that is um especially if it's not a, yeah. If it's not allowing, um, if it's not as powerful for you, for what you want to get across, and it's way more powerful for the opposition, then yeah, why not then just, 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 just cut its legs off? You know, I, 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 hey, look, hey, if you have I'll the money, you know, there's, there's nothing that says you can't do that. So, you know, whatever. I agree. I agree. I agree. Well, Hanato, you know, what? what is it? It's We've been here for, we should start wrapping it up soon. That's okay with me. You know, it's the fans that lose out. Um, so for any of you fan, uh, for any of you people out there, um, any of festivities, fisters or fist, fist fuckers, whatever we call you people, fist, 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 fist Um, oh, let's see. So many great memories, Dean is saying with the show. So hard to pick a great moment or interview. Thank you for that. I love that, Dean. Um, you know, first of all, obviously, we can't do it without you. We couldn't have did it without you because otherwise it's just me and her on FaceTime talking to each other or whatever. So 
who the fuck wants to, you know, there's no value in that. I mean, I like you, but what's the point? Well, yeah. Well, you like me more. Like is an understatement, guy. Like. You're infatuated with me. Not really. Uh, well, whatever. Uh, but, yeah, you know, we appreciate everybody, all these people, and people who's donated $100. I mean, clearly... You know, obviously, this show is not, uh, um, uh, I don't know, on the chop 10 list of the fucking uh, podcasts on, on, on Apple or whatever. However, there are people who, to them, it is, you know, and to those people, we're very grateful for that, you know, because other, otherwise, we're just pissing in the wind, you know what I mean? Right. So, so, we appreciate you guys and... The fact that anybody gets any enjoyment out of it at all, it, 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 that's a good feeling, you know? That's a great feeling. And, and uh, that anyone wants to hear anything you have to say or wants to see you, wants to see you gorgeous p- punam every day, you know, in, in some of the most perfect lighting with some of the elements, with some of the essential spices uh, on the spice chart or whatever on the, uh, you know? You know, it's a it's a privilege for you guys to see that one. Um, so we appreciate you being availing yourself of that. It's true, and it's true, and it's been uh, a lot of fun over a hundred episodes, and yeah, like having uh, I like you were just saying, like I feel like there's been a core group of people who have been very supportive and have been really mm-hmm. cool, and it's been fun feeling like um, there's a sense of community and everything. Um, but, you know, I have to say, Hinato, a lot of the mm. time we have said and we've, we've, we've mentioned it throughout the times like, hey, you know, it's a limited time offer or, you know, I don't know this how long true. we can keep doing this or I'm not sure what, you know, what's going to keep going with it. And to true. be honest, folks, it's been two years um, this is a hundred episodes, and when we look back on it, it is two years. This is two years, Hanato, of Tuesdays, mm-hmm. which is incredible to think that you've committed two years of Tuesdays to me. I'm quite surprised. It's unthinkable. It's unthinkable, and frankly, unprecedented. And you owe me. You owe me, big Chinese. Well, I think I it's... created your career. I gave you a second life here. I gave you a second career and a second. Did you? Uh, uh, you know what? I gave you a new lease on life. Did you? Period. <laughs> how so? How is that? How is that that you gave me a new lease on life? Well, the world is yours. At least it's your clams casino. Well, people are starting to figure it out in the comments, Hanato. Yeah, we are going to go on a hike. <laughs> what are they figuring folks? out? Well, people well. are like, "Oh no, is this a lapse episode?" Oh no! Is this farewell? Oh no! Um, uh, yeah. I so, know. wow. I have had a every. It's been a freaking blast. It's been a blast. Every Tuesday's been really fun, and like the the crazy sad thing is. This has been literally the height of my social life for the last two years, which is good and bad. Um, but um, but yeah, that's a lot of time. That's a lot of commitment. And I think, you know, it'd be good for us to just take a little breather um, and, and, and just take a hiatus. So maybe we'll, maybe we'll regroup when there's you know, big events we want to get together and talk about, or maybe we get together every, you know, once a month or something, we'll figure it out. But we just kind of need to take a break after two years of showing up. I, frankly, I felt like I was being smarter. And, you know, it's like, uh, some people can't check a hand. Um, sometime when you have a, you know, I didn't want it to lead her on anymore. Were you leading me on? Is that what you think was happening? You think I've been hanging on for 99 episodes going, ooh, next, this is the week I'm going to get him. This is yeah. the week that, ooh, I'm finally going to, I'm just going to, like, you think, yeah. it, I, 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 fine, by the way, you think I would have to work that hard? Please. Mm-hmm. 
Please. Yeah. Please. You think I would have to work uh, that hard? Oh, not it's like, at oh, all. Right. Not at all. That's uh, please. please, don't embarrass yourself. It's me. like when I check don't my dog. Don't embarrass yourself by I, saying I would have to work even listen, a tenth of that hard. If I check my dog to the pet store just to get the food or something like that, and then we walk by that, that bin that heavy the bully sticks or whatever, and she go like this. And she smelled it like it's a Cuban cigar. She smelled it like it's a fucking Cohiba or whatever like that. And then I'm like, now it's like a kid with the cereal or something like that. Now you can't have your fucking uh, uh, whatever. It's Count Chocula or whatever. It's like you sitting there like you, 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 you. my Johnson is like, uh, and you go like this, like like a Chukan Sam. You like this. It's not though. I don't mm. need it. I don't want it. Uh, you want that one? <laughs> That's the nail in the coffin. Mm-hmm. That's the nail in the sarcophagus. No, <laughs> that's the nail in the esophagus. <laughs> and you want that one, and you you hate that you can't have. Well, one. Dean says they're gonna miss seeing my face when you do something silly. Too uh, bad. I mean, and I, oh, Hasbro because the celebration I, turns no. to tears. It's not. It's not tears. It's just that. It's just that. Honestly, yeah, Mini Dead. Sorry. It's grief. Sorry. It's just. It's, it's trying to grief. It's just it. Like I said, it's 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 been so. It's fun. because like, Karen Branch is a selfish and greedy pig. Don't say that. And she is 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 similar in that way to Vinnie Vinnie Yeah. I do <laughs> a lot more of the work. You, you no, but honestly, she's in cahoots. I'll tell you what. She started dating Vinnie Mago I did not. And start then the Mago problem Lesh. is he's been he's been in her ear telling her. Yeah, giving him her orders, walking but papers. If, but if knowing Vinny Magalesh is single is the takeaway from this episode, I'm not mad at it. See, she should be put to death. He's cute. He's a t- <laughs> That's what I have to say about that. He's a pig. I can't even imagine. You're the only person. I. That's like saying Dom De- Well, I guess Dom DeLuise is kind of cute, but he's also no, obese. he wasn't Dom DeLuise. Nobody even knows who he is. He looks like a fluffy. You know that, that he's a, a, a Mexican-American. Yeah. yeah, Mexican-American. Yeah. He looked so like, or, no, he looked like Tuesday Earthquake. With? What's her name going to be? Huh? What's her name? Uh, Do you already have a Tuesday night girl that you'll fill that slot with, or will you add somebody? Oh, that won't be edition? hard. That won't be hard. <laughs> Uh, that's easy. That's what she said. That won't be hard. Uh, um, yeah, sure. A lot of women is going to be happy from this. A lot of women are going to be celebrating. But a lot of the fans of this show are going to be very disappointed. Well, I will say this. I have very much enjoyed hanging out with you every Tuesday night for the last two years. Like I'm saying, it's actually crazy to blame? me to think. Like... I, I, it's actually crazy <clears throat> to me to think we've done this every Tuesday for the last two years. Like when we first started doing it's this, shocking. we were just like, hey, let's like hang yeah. out on Instagram and maybe it'll be funny. Yeah. And like, what are you doing on Tuesday? And like, maybe let's yeah. just kick it. The fact that it did actually become this whole thing and that we have spent this much time together really has been a treat well, and it's, a joy. It's crazy. It's crazy because it, really it started is. as a who's for you to, 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 to parlay this into a romantic relationship with me. And the funny right. thing that, that that isn't what happened, but this fucking thing, the byproduct of that or whatever is what happened. Crazy. Yeah. It's been a lot of fun. And like I said, it's just kind of a hiatus. It's not, it's not, it's not goodbye. It's just, it's just, we're just hitting pause for a moment. No, it's good hidden. No, it's uh, yeah. You thought that this was gonna be a trip to Hillshire Farm, an all expense paid trip to Hillshire Farm. <laughs> Is that what I thought? I think that's what you thought. Yeah. No. No. <sighs> anyway, Hanato, where can people find you on social media? Because here's the thing: is we still have, like I said, so even this weekend. I feel like there's like three or four people on the fight card that have been on the show, like Razak Al Hassan, um, Bobby Green, who's in the main event. It also has Drew Dober on there. He's been on the show. And like, I feel like, and there's one other or two others that have been on the show. And so I was explaining to people that we've had such an incredible guest list over this whole time that mm-hmm. even though we have hit pause on the show, 
If you missed episodes, go back and look, and I'll share. Oh some yeah, stuff with like a grid of the even things, Dana like, White. We've had great guests. Even Dana White, remember he remember he dropped by. That's right. Um, yeah. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, you'll be sorry. You'll rule the day that this uh, you didn't. You, well, yeah, well, they always I, come hunting back. I will. I I do. I will. I'm sure miss you. I like spending time with you, but you like you don't like me. You like my doggy style. You just no, like my but doggy every style. but I think about it. I'm like every Tuesday for the last two years. That's a pretty solid commitment, and I just need to maybe yeah. take a break. Yeah. Is that fair? Yeah, I mean, I think that's fair, right? Just the other people. Maybe. You want to see Vinny Mangalesh. And if you do that, you're dead. You're dead to me. If I did that, I probably wouldn't tell you. Or he would tell me in the DM. He would He would gloat. He and I would be on the DL. I'm going to date Vinny on the DL. He is on the DL. He's a bisach. You're into that kind of thing anyway. Um, so I don't know what other people say here. They I don't know. Don't and I'll say, so, uh, look at the comments and then we'll wrap oh, it up. Oh, uh, look at that. Oh, oh well, sorry, Stacy. Sorry. Um, sorry. Yeah. Wow. No, we will miss you too, mm-hmm. Dean. And no, Omega, well, I didn't have enough. It's just, I just need, we just, it's for just... Karen Bunch, it'll be like she's passed away. But for your uncle, not, it'll be like I never left. I always enjoy, Lord of the Flies enjoyed the fighter interviews and the Nacho's ability to make him feel comfortable. Yeah, I mean, you know, look at. <laughs> yeah. I think we had a lot of fun, and I, and I, and and that's the thing. Like, it's just you know, like I said, it's not goodbye. You know, it's just a pause. It's not goodbye. It's go fuck. It. <laughs> no, no. It's go. It's go. It's go. It's lose my number. No. You and out. No. You know, the main thing is that I've got from this is that like. You know, I lose a Karen Branch, but I gain uh, Maybelline because now she don't have to feel guilty for making love, to, you know, to, or now there's not this conflict of inch because if I become your stepfather, there's not this kind of like weird dynamic anymore. And then on the flip side, uh, Ohora is becoming 19 or 18 or whatever. And then there's, we got that albatross out of the way now. So anything is possible in that branch family. Nice. Like Kobe, me, no helation, but may he has may, may Karen Bryant has in peace. Kind of. And for me, I think of it as like, oh well, now I can do these weekends away because I some a lot of time I think nah. like at a hotel, it's like, oh, I'll go and I'll go away for like a long weekend, maybe after I've worked from Vegas, right? Like so, I'm like sometimes after mm. Vegas, I was like, oh, I could just drive to Vegas. And then from there, I could just drive to Palm Springs and have like a long weekend and like do Monday and Tuesday and come home on Wednesday. I'm like, oh, I got to do the podcast. But mm. now I could maybe, you know, like I said, two years is just a long time to be committed to something specific. I'm just looking forward to just taking a breath for a second. That's all. Well, yeah, you're going to be careful what you wish for. Do you want to wish you a Well, Hanato, in the meantime, where is everybody going to be able to find you on social media? They can find me at Hanato underscore Laranja. Um, like, uh, uh, on, on all the social, whatever that one. Nice. Uh, any of that stuff. Well, and they should do because you post funny stuff all the time. Of course. Oh, nice. I post all kind of good stuff. Yes, well, uh, on Instagram, I'm KB Heat on tw- on Twitter and on YouTube. Karen Bryant, K A R Y M Bryant, as in Kobe, no relation, but may he rest in peace. I'm working this weekend, so I'm excited to work the fights. Uh, it's Grant Dawson versus Bobby Green. Got an interview with Grant on my channel. Uh, I just spoke with Uriah Faber earlier today, so I'll be posting that as well. Hanats, do you have any seminars coming up? Uh, I do have one coming up in like, I can't even remember the date, but I want to say it's like in December something. I, 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 I'll, I'll post it or whatever, but it's not your concern anymore because May festivities, no election, but May festivities has in peace. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Festivities is has in peace in the, anno, in the anus of history. Oh God, oh yeah. But I do want to say thank you to everybody who's hung out with us uh, every week. You guys are awesome, and we really do appreciate you know your 
um, your support and uh, your right. hanging out with us and just being and participants in the show. Because honestly, it's been really fun. Yeah, and and listen for the people out there who is about to kill. Don't kill yourself just yet, okay? I know there's people who's tightening up the noose and doing and preparing the the, the bathtub and the haze of and stuff like that. Don't kill yourself just yet. Just to ease the transition, I'm gonna do some live ease and stuff like that to make you, you. It's gonna be like um, you know, like methadone. You know the heroin addicts yes. they take that and it's like chase like Chang, like disgusting Chang. It's going to be like methadone juice or whatever. I'm going to help you out, okay? I think and that's then you're going to see her. Idea. You're going to see her on the fucking uh you know, the 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 on the television and stuff like that and you still we're not dying, we're not uh, um dead. It's just the two of us together. It's almost like if they discontinued his his piece uh his his peanut butter cup or Twix or a $100,000 bar, and also a Klondike bar. Also, all that but stuff. But listen, on Tuesday nights, if you're just live on IG hanging out, I would pop in on your IG. No, who needs you to pop in? Don't don't do us any favor of popping in anywhere. Okay, you can pop. You popped in. You can pop your. <laughs> but you're right. We don't. You're not going away. And like I said, maybe we'll just get together like after big events or whatever. It's just a hiatus. It's not. It's not a. It's not a goodbye. It's just a. Goodbye. We'll see. We'll see. You know. We'll see. Okay. Well, thank you, everybody, for to, joining we'll us. Talk to we my really agent. appreciate it. And as you know, these are also available as audio downloads, so you can find them wherever you get your favorite audios uh, downloads. But these are on festivities.com and on YouTube forward slash Karen Bryant. Mm. They're on Hinato's Twitch um, mm. and on my Twitter feed. And any of the female out there who is, is, is devastated from this and stuff, so just feel free to reach out to me. Like, my number is open yeah. It's like a hot, like it's like a suicide hotline or whatever. Like any time, I'm gonna ease you back. He'll ease the pain. He'll uh, ease the pain. Well, thank you, everybody. We appreciate it. And um, Hanato, it's been a lot of fun. You know, it's thank been you a for heel being treat. consistent. I know you don't show up for your, for your children, but thank you for showing up for me. Well, you know, it looked like I bet on the wrong horse. I should have. I should have paid attention. To my no, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. No, I, I, you know what? Look, look, I'll put it to you this way. When we first win, lose, or draw, when we first, when you approach me about this and we went to have a dinner and stuff like that and we yeah. talked about it, if we said to ourselves, he's going to do a hundred of that, this, would have been like, wow, we're going to do a hundred of them. You know what I mean? Like, who do? Yeah, you it's know? ambitious. You're right. It was an experiment, it was just trying something, just fucking around, throwing spaghetti at the wall. Um, so I feel, even though always saying goodbye is such sweet sorrow or whatever, at the same time, um, first of all, it's very unexpected because no one would have put us two together. I know. Um, no one would have thought you would be able to put, put up, <laughs> put up That's with so it for this true. long. I've even had people who go, I don't know how, um, I don't know what kind of magic you put on her to make her sit through or just to accept any of this shit. I don't understand shit. it either, honestly. So that's one thing. Um, uh, so there's a lot of unexpected stuff. It's just unexpected that we even did one episode of it, let alone 100. So I look at it as not, uh, oh, how come it, you know, it's like, it should be like, oh, how could, wow, we're playing with house money. How the fuck it even went to 100, you know? So here's something I'm going to say, and I don't want this to sound really conceited. Oh, I don't no. want it to sound conceited, but I'm picking up on something that you just said. Uh-uh. That the about the fact of the two of us <laughs> working together is unexpected. Yeah. And I think what's been so fun about it is that each of us were good at what we did separately and then yeah. to come together, it was a surprising two great tastes that taste great together. And I it's think like, it, it's it, a, it was peanut. maybe surprising even to us, I yeah. will say. And so then that other other people picked up on that. And so I will say that like this whole thing, yeah, I, I feel has been all all very much positive and all very much a win. Absolutely. And 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 it reminds me of that classic commercial. It's like you bump into the person have is holding the peanut butter, the other person's right. holding a chocolate bar. You bump into them and they're going there and they go, hey, you got your chocolate and my peanut butter. Hey, hey you, you got, got your peanut, peanut butter and my chocolate. chocolate. You know, and then it's like, wait, oh, God, you? you know, and it's, it's one of those things like that. Um, so, 
you welcome uh, that it even lasts wow. this long. That's it's not like what your I was parents. For. I was definitely not looking for a you welcome. It's like your no, no, the fans. I'm saying. Oh. Okay. Um, you walk. You guys is welcome for that. Yes, and, that I will. Appeal. And imagine this. You know, sometimes you your parents is split up or whatever, but they still your parents. Got on. Anyway, Hinaj, you're great. Um, I, wow. uh, I've had a blast. I've had a blast with all our fans and everybody who's been participating and who's been active and donating and everything. We really do appreciate it. Yeah. Um, and yeah, these all live on uh, on YouTube and on festivities.com and on audio downloads and all that and stuff. In and, and in your memories. And in your memory. And your muscle memory. Well, Hanato, thank you. I, you know, you're awesome. I think you're great, and uh, and you know, I'll see you around, right? Hi, back at you, kid. All right. Don't be a don't be a show. We'll always have we'll always have festivities. Thanks, everybody. Bye. Ciao.